welcome everybody to the stream welcome to daily crypto technical analysis on today's live stream we are going to do daily bitcoin and ethereum price prediction for intraday trading using different indicators and of course price action so far it does look like bitcoin actually tried to make another all-time high but unfortunately actually failed so on today's live stream of course we are going to go through possible targets how far right now could bitcoin actually pull uh, us to the upset right now of course if the bottom right now is in of course if you was uh, if you were watching to uh, i would say our morning's live stream you would know that i was mentioning about a potential long position that you could go on bitcoin right now uh, so far it does look like our fibonacci level that of course i'm going to show you also on today's live stream actually hold and we actually got another pull to the upside so bitcoin so far i'm just saying right now in my opinion definitely does look bullish in my opinion we can continue our way to the upside but so far it does look like maybe we are having some kind of a key level up here for bitcoin but for ethereum so far we got a perfect rejection i would say at our resistance level right here and once again pulled to the downside uh, so far, Ethereum, in my opinion, of course, is very much lacking behind Bitcoin. Uh, we are having bullish confirmations for the patterns, I would say. But so far, of course, another bearish pattern could be unfolding, uh, unfolding here for the Ethereum price. So, of course, we are going to go through Ethereum, through Bitcoin, of course, also through the altcoins. After we are going to done with, uh, after we are going to be done with Bitcoin and also with Ethereum. Today, I actually have some very interesting, I would say, Reddit posts ready for you. The first one is going to be this one. Why Doge is unlikely to ever reach one US dollar? Very, very, very interesting, I would say. The next one, don't check your portfolio the moment you wake up. It's not worth your peace of mind. Very interesting one. And also, I actually have a very interesting question for you a little bit later for Twitter, which, uh, I mean, you're going to see what the question is going to be. But in my opinion, actually very, very interesting uh, question for you. Also, the next one, 100,000 Bitcoin much sooner than you think. Also, very interesting Reddit post right here. And also, I actually have another Twitter post uh, right here. Bitcoin is eating gold. Maybe if you uh, were watching, I would say, MM Crypto's live stream, he was actually mentioning this, but very, very interesting uh, chart, I would say. We are going to look at everything on today's live stream, so make sure right now you relax, you watch the entire live stream because it will be for sure. A very interesting one uh, before we even go into the charts before we even look at those very interesting articles of course i would like to welcome everyone on the stream the first one being uh far sight welcome to the stream what's the new bitcoin price prediction for long positions 1 million okay thanks i mean so far so good i would say bitcoin definitely does look bullish in my opinion uh and we are on today's live stream we are going to see uh, I mean, hopefully Bitcoin could actually make another all-time high on today's live stream. This, of course, would be amazing. Uh, but let's just see right now if we are maybe getting a pull down before for, uh, further movement to the upside. But definitely, of course, as I said before, I am bullish on Bitcoin and I would be expecting more movement to the upside in the next, I would say, couple of days, in the next couple of hours, let's say. Welcome farm side, side to the stream. Uh, Faxello, welcome to the stream. Cardano, pump or dump? In my opinion also, Cardano does look bullish. Uh, so I would say, of course, pump. Welcome, Faxello, to the stream. Infin uh, infin uh, Infini 8. Hey, Hyper, I appreciate the technical analysis you provide the community. Thanks to your help, I've made some profits. Could you check a link and other altcoins? Thank you, brother. Of course, I can look at other altcoins, but maybe not right now. Right now, we are going to focus on Bitcoin, on Ethereum. Then we can, of course, look at uh, the altcoins. Also, Chainlink, yes, and also EOX and also Ripple. Uh, in our morning slide stream, I was actually mentioning about uh, EOS and also XRP. And if you would uh, look right now on this one, it does look like uh, EOS, of course, moved once again to the upside. Here we are having some kind of a consolidation at the moment and also XRP. XRP, so far, it does look like we are also breaking our falling wedge pattern to the upside. And so far, it does look like we are moving to the upside. So let's just see what is going to happen with Ripple, what is going to happen with EOS, what is going to happen with Bitcoin. And of course, what is also going to happen with Ethereum, I would say. Uh, welcome Cliff Silva to the stream. Uh, Quank Fam, welcome, hi uh, I mean, not Hyper, welcome Quank to the stream. Um, Joseph, uh, what's the forecast for Ethereum, a pump or dump for today? 
Uh, in my opinion, I would say pump, but let's just see what is going to happen with Ethereum. Of course, I'm going to look at the, I would say, at the possible patterns that could right now be forming here on Ethereum price. It is a bearish pattern unfolding for Ethereum, a uh, neckline perfectly aligning with a key level that, that is right now already on the charts, but I just want to say uh, Ethereum and also Bitcoin so far, in my opinion, definitely they are looking bullish. So uh, before we actually also BNB, also BNB, if you look at BNB right now, I mean, BNB is pumping here. Uh, we actually entered the trade. Uh, I would say I entered the trade live on the live stream in the morning. So far, it does look like we are actually pumping on this one. Our price target is still, I would say, the same. The same around 168 US dollars or approximately 170 US dollars on BNB USDT. But so far, it does look like we are even. Uh, we are even uh, getting above 1.272 Fibonacci level. Next price target for this one would be 170 US dollars. So. I mean, hopefully, if you actually followed, I would say, the signal or the trading idea that I actually gave you, uh, this one right now, it does look like, of course, we are pumping. If you do not believe me, watch our morning live stream because I was, of course, mentioning about this pump being formed here. Uh, not not the pump, of course, about the uh, breakout on BNB. Of course, I think we actually entered around here at the bottom at the candle close on the four hourly time frame or the hourly. So we actually pretty much entered uh, right here. Around this area was the entry for BNB and we pretty much smashed to the upside right here. Uh, and of course, we are moving right now to the upside to our next price target, uh, which is right now, let's see, uh, which is right now, yeah, around 168 US dollars. Around here, right now, would be our price target for this one. So, of course, uh, with uh, that being said, let's go straight into the charts. Let's go straight with Bitcoin and also with Ethereum. Thank you for your BNB trade. You are welcome. Uh, I'm with you with BNB. Nice. Uh, I agree. Been searching my head about entry with a new update. Uh, supposedly coming uh, update for Binance. I actually haven't heard about this, but interesting. Uh, do you maybe know about the news? Because I haven't heard about any fundamentals for Binance. Uh, but of course, because it does look like, of course, we broke the resistance level. That's why I went with a long position, and may many of you also went with a long. I see. Uh, interesting, interesting. So right now, let's go straight into the Bitcoin charts. Then, of course, we are going to move to Ethereum. So Bitcoin so far, it does look like we are getting a, maybe a, a, I would say. A bearish count here on the hourly time frame. Of course, it's a bearish indication for Bitcoin. Uh, we are having, I would say, a bearish PMR. Actually, before we actually even start, let me remove everything. Let me start from scratch right now and let's see what is happening. So, I would say uh, after our live stream in the morning, we actually got a pull to the downside. I mean, I would say almost exactly as predicted because we were talking about a potential move to the downside on Bitcoin price right now. It does look like we actually got a pull to the downside. So, uh, if you would go with the Fibonacci level from swing low to swing high, we got almost a perfect bounce, or I would say uh, a little higher than 0.5 Fibonacci level. I added to my position above a little above 0.32 Fibonacci level. Uh, I think that with this wick right here, I actually got filled. And also I think that, uh, yeah, I, and another uh, when I was adding to my position, also a little above 0.5 Fibonacci level. So uh, yes, of course, I added to my position right now. I would be expecting further movement to the upside uh, here on the Bitcoin price. Of course, we are going to right now talk about the targets if right now the bottom is already in. If right now this is right now the bottom for Bitcoin, let's say around 50,000. 627 US dollars. Uh, we are going to right now measure the price targets, how far we can actually move to the upside in the next couple of hours. But so far, it does look like right now maybe the bottom is in. But of course, if you would look like this, let me actually go on the four hourly. Actually, not on the four hourly, on the hourly. Uh, it does look like we are having some kind of a, I would say, resistance level or a key level for Bitcoin at around 51,800 US dollars or 850 US dollars because it does look like we actually got a perfect rejection exactly at the specific level. So let's just say right now we are having a key level for Bitcoin at around 51,850 US dollars. Yes, you still need to know we are having our diagonal support level right here. Uh, which right now it does look like actually got very nicely retested. Actually, let me put it a little bit lower. Uh, we got a perfect retest. If you, of course, connect the WEC right here, uh, we got a perfect retest of this diagonal support level and another pull to the upside uh, on Bitcoin. I think that on the live stream uh, in the morning, we actually had this one a little bit differently. Doesn't really matter. Of course, I was saying about 0.5 and also 0.32 Fibonacci level. So far, it does look like we got a perfect retest of the diagonal support level. And of course, you could be expecting more movement to the upside on Bitcoin. So right now, of course, uh, if you maybe miss the trading opportunity with Bitcoin at 0.5 Fibonacci level, and maybe if we are right now already continuing our way to the upside. Your next, I would say, uh, your next uh, possible entry for Bitcoin 
could of course be above 51,848 US dollars. Why am I saying this? Because it does look like, of course, this is right now the key level for Bitcoin above this resistance level, could be right now your next possible entry for Bitcoin because we are having, of course, a key level and another rejection exactly at this level. So it does look like it is a key level for Bitcoin. So if you are going to go with the breakout trade, possible trade above the resistance level, of course, uh, is of course possible. Uh, Doc Leviet, thank you so much for check. I think uh, CZK. 50 donation. Hey man, daily viewer, any help with BNB looking to sell and buy at 0.38 Fibonacci level? What do you think? Uh, with the, uh, I mean, with the, if you actually miss the long position for Binance, I would say, personally, I would not re uh, really rush into the long position on this one. Uh, the where you could right now potentially be looking to go with a long position on Binance right now, if we are right now, of course, uh, if this is right now the top, that means that we are not actually going to reach uh, 1.618 Fibonacci level. If we are not reaching 1.618 Fibonacci level, that means, of course, you could potentially be entering on, let's say, 0 0.382, 0 0.5, 0 0.618 Fibonacci level, if right now this is the top. If this is the top, potential entries, of course, could be your Fibonacci levels, but but if this is right now not the top, personally, I would not go with a long position just yet, because, of course, uh, you actually missed the opportunity to go with a long position at the resistance level. So, um, of course, if this is the top, you could be looking to go with a long position at the uh, retracement. But if this is right now not the top, uh, our price target would be around 168 US dollars uh, here for Binance Coin. So thank you so much, man, for watching the live stream. And of course, I see that you are a daily viewer. Thank you so much, man, for being here. Uh, right now, let me go back on Bitcoin, actually. Bitcoin uh, actually on the two hourly time frame. So on two hourly, yes, it is a bearish pin bar candlestick pattern on the two hourly, on the hourly time frame. Also a bearish candlestick pattern, which of course is a bearish uh, pattern. Maybe, of course, right now we are going to get a rejection here and maybe another pull to the downside. But so far, so good. It does look like, of course, uh, like a, of course, rejection. If we are breaking through the level, you could potentially be looking to go with the breakout trade uh, through the resistance level. Yes, you need to know, for example, on the hourly time frame, when we were actually uh, getting uh, a pull down from the all-time high, we also formed a very nice, I would say, wicks right here. Very big wicks to the downside on the hourly time frame and also on the two hourly time frame, very big wicks to the downside. Of course, it's a bullish indication for Bitcoin. Uh, and of course, because of that, it does look like, of course, we once again pull to the upside. But I'm saying right now, if we are forming a bearish PMR right now, uh, this bearish PMR, it does look like it is going to be actually confirmed in around two minutes and 33 minutes, uh, 33 seconds. If we are getting a confirmation of a bearish PMR, uh, of course, it is a bearish indication for Bitcoin. Maybe uh, we could, of course, get a pull to the downside. Um, Van Marcus, thank you so much for SEC20 donation. Uh, where do you think Wave 5 is and how far is down? Wave 5. Uh, of course, depends how you are right now going to count uh, the alley waves right here. But let's say right now, this is right now our first impulsive correction, second impulsive correction. And of course, then you can be expecting fifth alley wave to the opposite, exactly as you said. Uh, but right now, um, I mean, with the... Um, with the um I mean, uh, I mean right now with the how far the correction could actually be of course depends how much right now we are going to pull to the upside uh, uh let's say right now we are going to go to the target of course which i'm going to mention in the i would say in the upcoming uh, in the upcoming minutes i would say uh, if right now the price target, let's say we go to 53,000 US dollars, you could be looking then maybe for a correction to let's say 0 0.5 Fibonacci level, uh, where, uh, yeah, 0 0.5 or 0 0.32 Fibonacci level. So 50,500 US dollars to 49,600 US dollars could then be your potential price target. Uh, if right now this is uh, uh, right now the actual, actually no. Uh, let me actually see, see this. Um, no, actually no. No, no, no. Uh, the, no, actually, I'm going to show you this a little bit later right now because, of course, I need to go through the targets for actually to for you to actually show you where the correction could actually right now happen. But of course, I'm going to mention how far we can actually go to the downside uh, if we are right now getting a pull down. But so far, I'm going to first talk about the targets and then we are going to, of course, mention where we can move uh, to the downside if the potential move to the downside, of course, is going to happen after Alex Wave price structure. Of course, because I actually posted in the Discord server about the alley waste price structure in the Bitcoin trading group here. Uh, of course, maybe you, you saw it, but of course, I'm going to move, uh, I mean, I'm going to mention this a little bit later. Right now, let me actually move back on the hourly. So we are getting, of course, as I said before, bearish pin bars. Uh, on the 15 minute time frame, I also posted this, I would say, on Twitter right here. Uh, on Twitter, actually, I was posting the symmetrical triangle right here. I posted this, let's see, uh, 6, 12 p.m. That pretty much means right now, let's see, one hour ago, I posted the symmetrical triangle being formed here on the 15 minute time frame on Bitcoin chart. And it does look like right now we got a break to the upside out of this, I would say. Uh, symmetrical triangle. So uh, if you look like this, of course, right now we broke through the symmetrical triangle to the upside and our price target, if you look like this, if you go from the top to the bottom, let me actually measure the price target. 
uh, the price target because it does look like we right, uh, we right now broke this one to the upside. Maybe right now a possible bullish retest before potentially you could be expecting higher prices. But uh, right now the price target for this one would be around 53,000 US dollars. And I am going to show you uh, why is right now this target so important right now for Bitcoin uh, because we are having so many alignments for 53,000 US dollars. Uh, I would say uh, target. So right now, of course, we are going to talk about the target. So if we right now go with our Fibonacci level, and if we go from swing high to swing low, you are going to see right now our 1.618 Fibonacci level for Bitcoin is uh, let's say 52,730 US dollars. So of course, this could right now be your price target for Bitcoin, uh, where potentially you could be looking to take some profits. Some magical triangle right here is right here. And let me actually go with the Fibonacci extension tool real quick. Uh, if we go with the, our trend-based Fibonacci extensions, of course, you know, this was our first wave. Uh, uh, this was our first wave correction. And right now, actually, let me put this one right here. Uh, you can see right now our one Fibonacci level is actually around 53,000. 200 US dollars. So your price target, in my opinion, right now could actually be around 53,000 US dollars area, 52,700 US dollars, uh, of course, and also then 53,000 US dollars in this area, in my opinion, would be very, very smart to take some profits for Bitcoin. And maybe then maybe even look for possible uh, short positions, because of course, if you are, uh, I would say if we are, um, uh, completing our Allen wave price structure, potentially we could be getting ABC correction. But so far, those would be right, right now our targets are at 53,000 US dollars. And you are right now saying how far we can actually go to the downside uh, after our uh, wave 5 is actually finished. Uh, where do you think wave 5 is and how far is down? Uh, I mean, uh, wave 5 is actually an impulsive wave. Uh, if you right now look at this Allen wave price structure, so we are having, of course, let me actually show you this because I was posting this uh, also in the, I would say, in the Discord server. Let me actually go in the hour time frame. If this is right now, let me actually go with the, let me actually go right now with the, where is it? Uh, Allen wave. This was our first one, correction. Second one, correction. And of course, you can be then expecting another impulsive Allen wave to the upside. So uh, if you look, of course, at this big, I would say big picture, but of course in this, uh, I would say in those Allen waves, we are having even more, uh, even, uh, even, uh, I would say even more Allen waves if you look like this. Uh, let me go with this one. We got our first one, correction, second one, correction. And right now it does look like uh, another one could actually form. Let me actually put this one in the, like this. Uh, and also let me put the uh, wave right here. So this is right now the Allen waves that I'm watching at the moment. Uh, and this would right now be my price target for this one. Uh, so around 53,000 US dollars. So let's say right now we are going to, let's say around 53,000 US dollars, how far we can actually pull down. And for this one, we actually need to use Fibonacci retracement from swing high to swing low. Let's say we go to around 53,000 US dollars. And let's say right now 0.32 Fibonacci level right here uh, is around 51,000 US dollars, 50, um, uh, 0.5 Fibonacci level, 50,450 US dollars, and 2.36 uh, Fibonacci level right here at around 51,800 US dollars. So those could be your uh, next, I would say, uh, potential price targets, how far uh, we are going to see a pull to the downside before you could be expecting another impulsive way to the upside uh, for Bitcoin. But so far, so good. I would say we are looking uh, very nice and bullish and I would definitely be expecting more movement to the upside in the next, let's say, couple of hours in the next couple of days. If you right now miss the opportunity to go with a long position, potentially you could be looking to go with a long position above right now the resistance level. That means above 51,848 US dollars, price target from 52,700 US dollars to let's say 53,200 US dollars uh, here on the Bitcoin price. Uh, which is your position of BNB is on spot or future futures market futures. I'm in a long position for BNB coin. Uh, gotta love the spam SNX. Of course, we are going to look at the SNX a little bit later. I mean, uh, of course, remind me later. Uh, but right now, of course, we are looking at BNB and also at I would say uh, Ethereum. ADA, of course, ADA is also going to come. Uh, ADA right now, so far, it does look like we are on the way to the upside. So I'm, of course, bullish also for ADA. XRP, of course, we are going to look at XRP and also EOS. So far, let me uh, just go with the, uh, of course, our price target, as I said before, 53,000 ish US dollars is right now our next price target for Bitcoin. Uh, let me right now actually go with the CPR levels real quick because of course we uh, already um, uh, looked at the CPR levels on today's morning slide stream. This one is around 53,000 US dollars exactly right here. Whoops. Uh, 53,000 uh, 53, monthly CPR level. Higher, not very important at the moment, in my opinion. Uh, let me go with the Fibonacci pivot points right here. Fibonacci pivot point right here is around 15, uh, 52,300 US, uh, I mean, 53,000 US dollars and monthly also a little bit. I mean, here we cannot really see it. So yeah, 53,000 US dollars around here. I would definitely be looking to take some profits, undercut the market, take the profits a little bit earlier. It's it's every, uh, I mean, it's um, everything. I mean, in my opinion, it's every time, every, um, no, what am I saying? 
every time it's better to actually take the profits a little bit earlier than the actual than, than the actual price target because you can clearly see right now 1.618 Fibonacci level here was our price target taking the profits earlier before the Fibonacci level is actually hit so around 50, uh, 53k would be right now my price target for Bitcoin if we are right now going to move to the upside in the next let's say a uh, couple of um, let's say days couple of uh, hours right here Sark Manuel, thank you so much for 10 US dollar donation. You have the best tech Bitcoin technical analysis. Thank you. You're welcome. And thank you so much, man, for watching the live stream. And of course, thank you so much for 10 US dollar donation. Appreciate this. Uh, and of course, hopefully you are going to enjoy today's live stream, I would say. Um, I mean, as I said before, price targets around 53,000 US dollars right now uh, for Bitcoin. Uh, what percentage of profits do you take? Uh, I think right now I have 50% of the profits. I'm taking 50% of the profits. Uh, at uh, at around 52,000. I think right now my price targets are set 52,600, uh, something like this right now is my first price target. Why? As I said before, uh, undercut the market. That means we are taking profits before 1.618 Feb level. 52,600 and something US dollars is right now my first price target. Uh, and I think I'm pretty much taking, uh, I think 50% of my entire possession off right here. Uh, and my price targets then are pretty much uh, around 53,000 and 53,000. Uh, 200 US dollars. I have the spread of my, um, I think I would say a spread of my uh, short positions or I would say short limit orders uh, for Bybit right here. But I am already taking 50% off uh, below the 1.618 Fibonacci level. Uh, let's see. Terrible lag. I think there is no, I think that the lag right here should be pretty much minimal because on YouTube I, ha actu I actually have the set for the. Uh, for the very uh, low delay and i think that the lag should actually be very very low hi hyper shall we take profits for long-term holdings do you think bitcoin will uh, fall back to thirty thousand or so uh in my opinion we are not really going to go to thirty thousand us dollars just yet when i would maybe say we could go to thirty thousand us dollars if bearish divergences on the weekly time frame are going to be confirmed so far so good we do not have a confirmation of the bearish divergences on the weekly time frame so so far i would not really say we are going to go below thirty thousand us dollars in my opinion um, can we retest 50,000 before hitting uh, 53,000? Um, I would say like this, um, 50,000, uh, I would say no, I would say no. In my opinion, we are going to go, uh, I mean, as I said before, if we are getting a pull down, potentially you could already be looking, of course, to go with a long position. If we are continuing our way to the upside, uh, we, uh, you can go with the breakout trade through the resistance level. But, um, uh, I mean, in my opinion, if I would look at the probabilities right now, I would say right now that we can already move to the upside in the next, let's say, couple of hours. Even if we get a pull down, uh, we can then move to the upside. But, uh, let's see, let, let's see what is going to happen. Your BNB leverage. Uh, sorry, but I do not know uh, right now uh, exactly what is my leverage, to be honest. I'm not exactly sure what is my leverage for BNB trade. Uh, hello, Hyper. Welcome visuals by Vlad to the stream. Uh, interesting price levels these days. I mean, we are pumping to the upside. We are making all-time highs for this one. So, yeah, definitely interesting price action, I would say. Uh, welcome to the stream, man. Uh, let's see. So, right now, we are going to continue trades reality. Uh, so right now we are going to continue with the, let's go actually with the EMAs real quick. Let me look at the EMAs, then we are going to go straight to Ethereum. Then, oh, actually, before we actually move to Ethereum and also the indicators, I need to ask you something as soon as possible right now. Because I actually have a very interesting question ready for you for Twitter right here. If we right now go on Twitter, I actually have something very, very interesting. Let me right now make a Twitter poll, uh, right now let me make a Twitter poll. And I actually, I actually have the question already, already right here. Uh, do you immediately check your Bitcoin Ethereum price when you wake up? I actually want to know this because uh, for me, I mean, when I wake up, usually I immediately, I mean, usually immediately check the price for Bitcoin and also for Ethereum. So right now I want to see this. Do you immediately check your Bitcoin and Ethereum? Actually, do you immediately check Bitcoin price when you wake up? Uh, let me actually make like this. Yes. And also no. Let me know. Uh, let me know uh, with, I mean, I just want to see because I don't know, it's only me or do you actually also check the Bitcoin price and Ethereum price immediately when you wake up? Because I actually do, I actually do. I grab my phone and usually I check the, check the Bitcoin and Ethereum. Let me actually know right here with the Twitter poll. Actually, I'm going to spam right now the comments right now. Uh, let's see if you actually do this because I don't know, I don't know. I would actually really like to see this. Yes, I see a lot of yeses, obviously. <laughs> see let's see let's see please do vote right now in this sweater poll because i really want to see this 
I do, but not that much stress about it. I mean, I'm also not stressed about it, but I just check the price, right? I just want to see uh, where we are. Yes, 97.8%. Yes. Interesting. BTC pumping. Let's see. Oh, BTC once again going up. Let's see. Petros, thank you so much for 2 euro donation. Should we go in on TRX if not a when? Uh, TRX, USDT, I mean... Let's see, let's see. On this one, in my opinion, I mean, you can clearly see that uh, we got some kind of the inverse head and shoulder, I mean, head and shoulders pattern on this one. Uh, but so far, it does look like maybe a potential higher low. So, and, and also, let me go like this. Diagonal resistance level is being broken. So, in my opinion, potentially, you could be looking to go with a long position on this one. You need to know resistance level for this one would be around uh, 0.05 uh, cents. So maybe you can go with a breakout trade out of this double bottom pattern. It could be, of course, a position that you can actually take here uh, on, I would say, on um, uh, on TRX. And also, if you would maybe right now go with the Alex base, more, uh, probably first one correction, second one correction, third one. Uh, in my opinion, of course, it does look actually, if we are right now breaking the previous high potential, you could be looking to go with a long position, or if you also want, you can also already, uh, maybe already go with a long position after the break of the diagonal resistance level. But so far, so good. In my opinion, TRX does look bullish, and you could potentially be looking to go with a long position on this one. Uh, yeah, so your price target for this one, you would actually be around 1.6 when at Feb level, uh, 6.1 cents or 5.7 cents would be your, could be your first price target, but the more important one would be 6.1 cents on TRX USDT, which is pretty much the previous high right here. But so far, uh, TRX could actually, in my opinion, it does, uh, it does actually look bullish if we are breaking the resistance level right here. Uh, let's see. Bitcoin is maybe going to try and make another all-time high. This would be amazing right now. Let me actually check the, let me actually check this. Let me actually check right now the results because I really want to see this. 95.5%. I mean, if you haven't already, please vote right there. Vote here, uh, here like this. I'm going to pin the message right now. I'm going to pin the message because I really want to see the results of the of the Twitter poll right here. Haha, <laughs> who said no? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> My wife yelled at me for doing this at 5 a.m. today. <laughs> Uber CEO says the company will consider extending Bitcoin from customers. Interest, whoa. That will be 12.37. Oh, wait, 7.34. Elon Musk just tweeted. <laughs> nice. Mostly after shower uh, uh, and dressing up, does that count? Of course it does, of course it does. Uh, let's see. I have a PC monitor with a dashboard of a coin that is on tw that is on 24/7. So it's the first thing that I see when I wake up. Nice. I don't know. I do not understand this one. So always, even in my sleep. I mean, actually, actually, I cannot. I don't know. I was actually dreaming that Bitcoin price was going above. <laughs> that's actually funny. That's actually funny. I was actually dreaming that Bitcoin price was going above 50,000 US dollars. When I woke up, Bitcoin price was actually bro breaking 50k and I actually then added to my position. So, I mean, interesting, uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm thinking about Bitcoin already in my sleep. Weird, uh, weird stuff, I would say. Weird stuff. <laughs> Yora to the moon. No Twitter, but <coughs> I vote yes. Nice. So, let's see. Uh, we are right now having already 92 point, uh, no, 94.4 votes. Interesting. I need the boom. <laughs> let's see let's see okay so right now let me actually go through the indicators for bitcoin then we move to ethereum and also we need to look at other um altcoins hi hyper how do you take half profit using leverage on binance you just said the the if you're right now using futures a futures market you if you're right now in a long position just set the limit short order uh i would say let's say right now for bnb bnb usd for this one just set limit orders uh, up here, short limit orders, and you are going to, uh, and your, I would say, and this is going to be pretty much the partial uh, take profit, uh, depends of course how much uh, position size you are going to set for the short position. Uh, does your analysis tools work on ordinary stock as well, or is it only on crypto it works? I think that's pretty much in, on every market, but of course I can actually do TA on stocks if you want, uh, but here we are usually doing only cryptocurrency, but I think that pretty much on every financial market, on Forex and also on crypto, I think this should actually work. Uh, hi, Hyper. How do you take half? Oh, uh, last night I dreamed that BTC price was 50,000 again for a few minutes. I bought it. <laughs> nice, man. Nice. Uh, actually, very interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, right now, let me actually move the, the straight to, I would say, the indicators. Because I really want to see right now if maybe the 50 EMA actually caught up right here. I mean, still moving up. Still moving up. Uh, not very interesting on this one, I would say. EMAs at the moment, not very interesting, I would say. 
I mean, with our next horizontal resistance uh, support level, sorry, uh, support level for Bitcoin would pretty much be right here. Around 49,700 something US dollars, would I say right now, is the resistance level or, su sorry, support level for Bitcoin, horizontal support level. Diagonal support level would be maybe a little bit higher right here with this rising wedge uh, pattern, but so far, horizontal support level, 49,779 US dollars uh, for Bitcoin. Hyper dream. <laughs> Are you in a long position? Of course I am. I am long on Bitcoin and also on Ethereum right now. Oh, Ethereum maybe woke up. Ethereum maybe woke up right now. Let's see. If we are going to be able to push through the resistance level, this would be amazing. Uh, but yes, I'm in a long for Bitcoin, for Ethereum, uh, for XRP, for EOS, for BNB, and maybe also some other altcoins, if I'm correct. Uh, let's see. Uh... Ethereum is retesting 1,820 US dollars for the 10,000, uh, no, 1,000th time this week. I mean, Ethereum struggling behind Bitcoin. I don't know. Ethereum so far doing almost nothing, I would say. Uh, SDX Media LLC uh, Peterson. Thank you so much for 15 US dollar donation. How's Algorand looking? Algorand, Algo USDT, uh, Algorand USDT. Let's see. Uh, on this one, we are breaking, oh, we are breaking the, uh, oh, I actually haven't noticed this before. We are breaking diagonal uh, resistance level on this one. Actually, I might go in the position also on this one. Uh, actually haven't noticed this, but it does look like we are breaking through the previous high right now. And also, uh, the bullish retest. Actually, very nice for actually noticing this. Maybe right now, I'm actually also going to go with Elanco this one. Um, just bear in me with this one because I think I actually haven't noticed this before, but right now it does look like we're also breaking the previous high on this one. Uh, so that being said, I think right now I'm going along with uh, Algo USDT. Uh, thank you so much, man, for actually noticing this. Let me actually uh, make the screen right now a little bit dark, I would say. Let me actually go in Binance real quick. Uh, be right back in like one minute. I'm actually going to um, place some long orders actually for this one. Uh, let's see, let's see. Let me go right here. Be right back like in one minute. Thank you, man, so much for watching. I mean, I actually haven't noticed this, uh, but it does look like we got a bullish retest. Bull knives, not very nice bullish retest on this one. Uh, let's see. Mm, right here. Mm. Be right back. Be right back. Okay. Let me go right here. I'm going to be back in a moment. I mean, uh, with those positions, I mean, um, we need to open right now a long right here. I mean, I'm going to. So if you're right now going to follow, if you are right now going to follow, trade on your own risk. I'm not a financial advisor. Set the stop loss, set the target and ride the way to the upside. But if right now we are going to go to the opposite way, of course, set the stop loss, man. I am not a financial advisor for you to tell you what to do. Uh, but I'm just right now going to go most probably right now with the long. Let me, of course, I, uh, hopefully I'm going to get felt. Uh, I am a little bit late, I see. Uh, but let me see. Uh, let me see right now. Um, right here from. Hmm, let's see. Okay, nice. Be right back. Be right back. Uh, with this one, okay. Why is this not? Uh, let's see. Mm. Okay. We are. I think we are in. I mean, yeah. My uh, yeah. Did I? No. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Uh. Okay. I'm set. I'm set for Algorand. Thank you so much, man, for noticing this. I actually haven't uh, seen this before. For Algo. Uh, but let me just check this once again. Uh, let me just see this. Mm. Okay, we are set, I think. We are set. B, uh, I mean, oops. We are back. We are back right now for Crypto Livestream. Thank you so much, man, for noticing this. Uh, okay, Bitcoin pumping, let's see. Screen is black. Yes, it is. Lots of love. <laughs> Give us targets. Oh, for Algorand. Let's see. Uh, what is this? Uh, we are breaking. I mean, this was pretty much the. Uh, this was pretty much some kind of the falling wedge pattern. Price target for this one right here. I'm going to set the price targets after the live stream, but uh, price target would be the previous high right here. Algorand looking bullish. Pump it up. Pump it up. Send it. Uh, but if once again, if you are following me right now, stop loss below the support level. Stop loss below the support level. 
Uh, I mean, a st support level in the Rising Wedge. In the Rising Wedge, uh, status, uh, status top plus. Team Rambo, thank you so much for knock 50 donation. Is 100 ripple good if the XRP value goes to uh, goes up 10 or even 100 plus? Can you also check XRP? Trying to learn everything I told myself in 2020, I would trade in 2021. Uh, XRP. So with XRP, in my, uh, I'm in actually in a long position for XRP. Uh, if you look like this, it is the falling wedge pattern. Our price target for uh, XRP right now would actually be 63 cents on this one. So XRP right now, in my opinion, definitely does look bullish. Uh, but next key level for this one would actually be 57 cents on this one. So maybe you can take take a partial trade, uh, take profit right here. Maybe also right here. But our main target right now of the uh, falling wedge pattern would be right here at around 63. Uh, 0.7 cents on Ripple. I am bullish on Ripple. 100 Ripple good uh, if the goes to uh, goes up 10 or even 100 plus. If you're right now maybe talking about the dollars, if we, uh, I mean 100 US dollars in my opinion not really going to happen in this bull market uh, or bull cycle for Bitcoin, but 10 US dollars maybe uh, because the all time high for Ripple actually XRP USD. Let me actually see this. XRP let's go maybe on Kraken I think it, oh, it is. Uh, on the let's go maybe on the weekly. Uh, the all-time high for Ripple right here was 3.35. So maybe 10 US dollars by the end of the year uh, could actually happen. Could actually happen to be honest. Uh, but let's see. Um, so, did you see the Reddit post about uh, the coin perspective side? It's really interesting in my opinion. Haven't heard about this. Haven't heard about this. Uh, BTC easily hitting 53,000 today. I am high and bullish on this one. If you want to go with a long position right now. The thing that I can suggest to you, of course, once again, not a financial advisor, uh, but with this one right now, possible entry, if you are maybe looking to go with a long, maybe something like this, maybe something like this, do, do your own, uh, I would say do your own research, do your own technical analysis before you are actually going to go with a long. Uh, I mean, right now with the stop loss, um, depends where you are going to set the stop loss, uh, but two to one restaurant ratio, something like this, if you're maybe right now planning to go with a long position on Bitcoin. Uh, I took long. I mean, right now, pers I mean, hmm. I mean, I'm not telling you what to do, but once again, we need. So that's the thing right now. I actually, yeah, XRP lo loss is definitely uh, not that bullish, I would say. But I just want to say right now, um, going with a long position right now at this time, I would not go. Why? Because you can clearly see resistance level still has not been broken and wait for a confirmation, then you go with a long position. But of course, if that's your strategy, go with it, of course. Antonio Bifsha, hopefully I'm pronouncing this name correctly. Thank you so much for 20 US dollar donation. Would you consider selling some of your, your Bitcoin around 60,000 if all indicators show a drop to the weekly moving average, just so you can buy back in at lower price? I got in at 10,000, by the way. I'm looking to increase my BTC size. Very, very good question, man. And thank you so much for watching the live streams, I would say. Uh, with selling my cryptocurrencies, no. I would not sell uh, any of my Bitcoin and also any of my Ethereum. How I would multiply, I would say, my Bitcoins and Ethereum holdings is with futures trading. And that's pretty much it how I am doing this right now for the past, I don't know, let's say one, two years actively right now. I am actively right now trading. Actually, it is going to be two years, actually. Uh, but I'm saying right now, no, I, w I mean, you can definitely, you can do this, but who knows, who knows right now, if those bearish divergences are going to actually be confirmed, who knows if we are going to go to exponential, I mean, exponential moving average. Of course, I'm not saying we cannot go. Historical data is saying we can go to these levels, but because right now, uh, in my opinion, of course, uh, even if we get a pull to the downside, I am not selling my cryptocurrencies. I'm going to leverage trade, and of course, with shorting the market, I'm going to get uh, more, I would say, cryptocurrencies in return. Uh, but personally, no, I am not selling any of my uh, of Bitcoin and also any of my Ethereum and also any of my spot holding for the altcoins. Uh, no, I would personally not sell. I mean, of course, you can if you want, uh, because maybe we can then get a pull down because of bearish divergences. And of course, it would make sense to get a pull to the downside. But no, I, I am actually not selling. Um, I'm not selling. Um... Mike Freeman, welcome to the stream. Uh, Matic broke the resistance. Matic USDT, let's see. Also, Ma oh, Matic also. Matic broke it, breaking the resistance four hourly candle confirmed in around 35.43 minutes. Actually, also very nice spot. Matic also pumping here. Whoa, what is this? Matic also confirming a breakout in 35, uh, 30, 35 minutes. I mean, a lot of those altcoins pumping today. And also, I mean, beat, I mean all of the altcoins pumping and also Bitcoin, except Ethereum. Ethereum doing almost nothing. I don't know. Why is this? Call, uh, someone in the Discord actually said, uh, call Vitalik. Call Vitalik and say uh, say to him, 
uh, that Ethereum actually need, needs to pump. I don't know. <laughs> if anyone has a phone number for or, or, of, from Vitalik, say to him, we need to pump. We need to go to the moon, right? Uh, best exchange for future trading in USA. Uh, sorry, but I would not really know about the about the future. Uh, I mean, about the exchanges in USA because I'm not from USA. I cannot really say this. I don't know. I don't know, man. Ethereum stablecoin. Ethereum being manipulated. Ethereum weird. It should pump. I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, usually when Bitcoin pumps, Ethereum also. But right now you can see Bitcoin five percent pump. Ethereum two point five. So. Yeah, let us uh, LTC looking good as well. Litecoin, let's see Litecoin. Litecoin USDT also. Uh, oh, almost, I mean, we broke the resistance level on the hourly, we actually got a candle close. But right now, let's see if we are going to be able uh, to even break this uh, resistance level. It would be uh, it would be actually nice. Or already also closed above this level. Let's see right now if uh, 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 Litecoin is going to be able to actually continue its way to the upside. Also, if you are right now new here, make sure you are subscribed to the channel because we are uploading daily Bitcoin and Ethereum price predictions and live streams right here on the channel. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel right now. And please, right, guys, 200 likes imminent. I mean, I think 700 likes should be imminent, but right now, I mean, 200 likes, I think, smash the like button, man, smash the like button. Uh, I think it's completely for free. I think the like button should be free. <laughs> okay, so right now let me go back on Bitcoin. That, of course, I'm going to talk with your comments or I would say I'm going to talk with you. But let's just uh, right now look at the indicators because I want to see if maybe right now we are overbought. Actually, before we look, uh, look at the uh, MACD, let me look at the Athlers. Athlers stochastic at the top on the 4 hourly, 3 hourly time frame. At the top, 2 hourly time frame. Going down, hourly time frame at the bottom. Athlers stochastic not that useful at the moment. We are at the bottom on this one. So, tomorrow, green cycle is going to start curving up. I mean, Athlers stochastic looking nice. MACD going up, 4 hourly time frame. Let me check this one. 4 hourly, a bearish divergence could happen, but not going with a short on this one. 3 hourly, also a bearish divergence, but not going with a short. Uh, two hour time frame. Let me check this one. Um, no bearish divergences, I would say. Our uh, hourly time frame, um, also not looking uh, that useful at the moment. Money flow indicator. Let's see. Not overbought. We cooled down a little bit, which is right now very, very nice. Two hourly time frame, not even in the overbought region. Three hourly, not even um, in the overbought. And also four hourly is not overbought. So, Bitcoin so far, yes, we are getting a bearish divergence, but so far it looks like maybe we are once again curving up. So far, Bitcoin, to be honest, in my opinion, Bitcoin is looking bullish. Um, maybe once again, I'm sounding like a moon boy. Maybe right now we are going to get the, another all-time high being found here on Bitcoin price. Uh, four hourly, not overbought. Three hourly, not overbought. Coming in the overbought region. Two hourly, overbought. Getting in the overbought region. Hourly, uh, possible bearish divergence right here. So let's just see how this is going to play out. But as I said before, price structure definitely right now does look bullish. Uh... Team Rambo, thank you so much for 50 knock donation. Use my donation to, to get some more XRP love from Norway, haha. <laughs> thank you so much, man, for watching the live streams and thank you so much for the donation, man. I appreciate this, uh, watching the live streams and yeah, thank you for joining today. Uh, I mean, XRP, uh, not really looking to invest in XRP. I mean, I am holding like a, some, I, a, a, lot, a very small amount of XRP. Uh, I mean, a very small amount, I don't know. Um, I'm not exactly sure how much, but yeah. Doesn't really matter. Uh, Ross Burfor Burfort, thank you so much for five pound donation. How EGLD looking? Respect for viewer engagement for lack of financial advice. For your patience, explanations, and technical analysis. New to the stream, best yet. Thank you so much. Oh, Bitcoin is going to maybe try and make another all. Oh, Bitcoin another all time high. GGs. We are on the way to fifty two thousand US dollars for Bitcoin. Uh, let's see right now. I mean Ethereum. Uh, not doing anything, Bitcoin making another all-time high right now at 51,950 US dollars on the stream. Let's go. I think we actually haven't seen the all-time high for uh, Bitcoin on the stream yet, I think, in the uh, in the past. Uh, right now, let's just keep an eye on Bitcoin if we are going to maybe even push through this. I mean, so far it does look like maybe we, we are right now pushing through the resistance level. So let's just see right now what is going to happen. In the meantime, let me actually check EGLD, USDT, EGLD, USDT, uh, Binance. So EGLD, uh, we are getting a perfect rejection at the resistance level. Uh, perfect rejection at the resistance level for this one. Double, yeah. So I think we were talking about this one already in the morning slide stream, if I'm correct. Uh, so far, um, yeah, I mean, not with this diagonal resistance level doesn't actually look that good, to be honest. Uh, double bottom on this one. Uh, resistance level was, uh, I mean, we actually got a rejection at the resistance level. So with this one, uh, potential long position could actually be not the replay. What? 
Um, the long position could actually be above uh, the resistance level for this one. That means above one uh, 153 US dollars. Uh, price target for this one, 1.27 to Fib level is 260 US dollars. Next one, 315 US dollars. So those would be right now your price targets, first one, second one. Uh, but so far, maybe if we are breaking the resistance level, of course, you are having the, uh, right here a double bottom pattern. Uh, so thank you so much, man, for watching the live streams, man. Uh, let's see. Another donation, Frederick Frederick Vancho. Thank you so much for 50 CZK donation. Hello from Czech Republic. Thank you, all time high. Thank you so much, man, for watching. I mean, it does look like maybe we are going to push and make another all time high for Bitcoin. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, another all time high. GG's. We are pushing higher. Let me right now go on the 15 minute time frame and let's see right now what is happening with Bitcoin. It does look like we are making another all time high. Uh, I mean, I'm going to uh, make some room right here for Bitcoin to pump. Let's see. Let's go, Bitcoin. 52,000 US dollars imminent right now. Let's go. I mean, no. Come on, come on. Ethereum. Ethereum doing nothing, man. Ethereum doing nothing. Thank you so much, Fr Fr uh, Frederick, for your donation, man. And also for watching the, the, the live stream, I would say. Let's see if Bitcoin is going to be able to make another all time high. Um, let's see. Now I set my stop loss at where I bought in. Nice. Um, Let's see, good entry point. Good entry point, as I said before, potentially above right now the resistance level. This could be right now a potential entry point for you if you're right now looking to go with a long position. Unfortunately, once again, I'm not a financial advisor. My personal opinion right now, Bitcoin made another all time high, I think. Uh, let's see, let's see. If we are going to be able to push to 52. Let's go to 52,000 US dollars, Bitcoin, come on. Uh, Hyper is converting from one crypto to another on Coinbase. I'm not using Coinbase. I do not know uh, exactly how Coinbase works, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Ethereum, Ethereum, oh, Ether Bitcoin just made another all-time high. Ethereum, uh, most probably sleeping. Ethereum sleeping, Bitcoin making, oh, 52,000 US dollars. Congratulations and happy new all-time high right now for Bitcoin. Let's go. Let's smash this one to 53. 53,000 is right now our price target. If you are new to the channel right now, our price target for Bitcoin, let me just show you. Our price target for Bitcoin would be around, uh, let's see, uh, 52,728 US dollars could be right now your first price target for Bitcoin. Uh, let's just see right now if we are going to be able to push to the upside. Rejection, let's see. What's the program you are using called? It is called tradingview.com. It is uh, a website called tradingview.com. Uh, but so far, let's see if Bitcoin is going to be able to make another all-time high. Let's see. Uh, 52,000. So uh, can I actually make the... Hmm. Let me make the path tool right now, uh, like this. Let, let me make like this. Yeah, so this is right now the what should theoretically right now happen with Bitcoin. 53,000 is now imminent in my opinion. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, in my opinion also. In my opinion, Bitcoin is actually going to push to 52, uh, 53,000. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, hyper. I'm mean, converting from one crypto to another on... Uh, uh, Oh, if this is advisable, I mean, if you want to switch from Bitcoin to, I mean, from Ethereum right now, maybe to Bitcoin, uh, of course, why not? Why not? If you want to have other cryptocurrencies, of course, why not? If you want to have diversified portfolio, of course, you can switch from one crypto to another. Let's see. Algo again, please. Oh, actually, 52,000 Bitcoin is pumping right now. Let's see. Let me see the volume right now. Actually, let me see the volume. Volume, not really that high, to be honest. Volume on the 15 minute time frame, at least. Uh, let's see. Bitcoin pushing higher, 52,000, let's go to 52,200 US dollars, let's see. Let's see this one, uh, come on Bitcoin, let's go, 52,200, imminent, right? 52,200 US, I mean, we are having 1.27 to FIB level at 52,279 US dollars, uh, but let's see right now if we are going to be able to break through this one, whoa, we are pumping on this one, we are pumping. Uh, Frederick Bancho, thank you so much once again for 50 C uh, CZK donation. Checks, uh, check, oh, those are check crowns, right? Check crowns, I think. I'm in job, but I have to, uh, I have to watching. Today is good day for Bitcoin. Exactly, we made another all-time high. Man, once again, thank you so much for the donation. And also thank you so much for watching the live stream when you are at work. Very, very nice, man. Very nice. Uh, hopefully, I mean, your day is going to be also awesome. Of course, watching Bitcoin... Of course, I think it's pretty much uh, your day just your day just become better, right? Uh, <laughs> um, Ethereum died. 
I mean, Ethereum, man, what is going on with Ethereum? Nothing, nothing. Bitcoin to the moon, let's see. A rejection, 52,157 US dollars. I actually remember, I actually remembered when we were doing the live streams and I was saying that it is so weird for Bitcoin or I would say the price for Bitcoin to actually say two right here because of course we went above 20K. It was so weird that we, whoa, Bitcoin is actually pumping. Uh, do we actually, whoa, we are pumping right here, let's see. Actually, did, do we have any big news or something? Do we have any big news? Actually, let me go on uh, MM Crypto uh, Twitter right here because sometimes I know that MM Crypto sometimes is actually posting some big news. Let's see, let me see. MM Crypto, let's see. Uh, right here. MM Crypto, did MM Crypto actually post it right now? Five minutes ago, exactly as predicted. Uh, no, because I know that MM Crypto right now sometimes actually has those very fast news and so far so good. Uh, whoa, BTC. What is the indicator of the left corner of your screen? Those are the orders that are getting filled bigger than 100,000 US dollars. And it's not the indicator, it's actually the website called aggr.trade. My debt is good, I'm $300 in a profit. GG's man, GG's. Oh, my day is good, not my debt, sorry. <laughs> my day, I mean amazing man, amazing. So nice to see the profits of the community right here. And I mean, yeah. Uh, MM Crypto, interview with... Uh the uh, major of Miami who implemented Bitcoin as the first uh, politician is confirmed. Wait, MM Crypto posted this on Twitter? Did MM Crypto actually posted this on Twitter? Let's see. MM Crypto, five minutes ago, exactly as predicted. Oh, interview with major of Miami who implemented the first politicians. Whoa, are those big news? I don't know. Who is this? I haven't heard about this guy, but... Major Francis Suarez, the major of Miami. Nice. Actually, read with this. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you vote right there. You need to vote in this vo uh, in this poll right now. Do you immediately check Bitcoin Ethereum price when you wake up? I want to know this. I want to know this. Uh, the results of this poll. Also, if you haven't already, definitely smash the follow button right here on the Twitter post. I mean, on the Twitter account. Uh, GG to everyone who took the trade, exactly. Uh, congratulations if you took the trade, if you actually t t took the um, trading signal. I mean, man, we were talking, I mean, in the Discord, in the Discord, completely free to join, link is down below in the description. In the Discord right here, I think I said uh, bullish pin bar, something like this. I think I uh, actually typed something like this. Let's see, right here. No, not daily. Um, I don't know, I don't know. But on one hour, we are... Hmm. Jump. I think it was this one, right? Uh, no, it was not. Hey, yeah, it was, it was this one. No, this was on... Oh, this is in December 2020. Uh, I think I was saying about the bullish pin bars at the support level right here. So, I mean, so far so good. Ethereum pumping. Let's see. Oh, Ethereum woke up. Nice. Let's see if we are going to be able to break the resistance level. I'm so glad I'm actually right now live stream because it's... Uh, hopefully, I mean, right now we are also going to be able maybe to even make the all-time high on this one. The all-time high for this one is, let's see, all-time high for Ethereum around 1,880 US dollars. Let's see if we are going to be able to make another one here on the live stream. This would be amazing. Ethereum woke up. Nice. Bro. Mm. Let's see, let's see. I bought at 1,835 on Leverage 10x. Nice. Uh, let's see, let's see. Ethereum, not really right now. It, uh, uh, I mean, it's stalled, right? Let's see if we are going to be able to break the resistance level. This would be amazing. B uh, pump, pump it. Welcome, Toy Wolf, to the stream. Let me, uh, um, yeah. Let's see right now what is going to happen. Hopefully, we make another all-time high for Bitcoin and also for Ethereum. Lol, wake up. Nice, I was part of the pump. pump. Nice, GG's, man. Not GG's. Let's see, let's see what is going to happen right now. We need to cover so much thing. Ethereum, Ethereum, Ethereum. Visuals by Vlad. I mean, Ethereum. Yeah, let's see, let's see. I really hope maybe right now we are going to get the all-time high on the live stream. This would be amazing. Uh, but let's see right now with Bitcoin. Yes, Uber is accepting Bitcoins. Nice. I'm, uh, I'm using only 10x leverage. I'm careful. I mean, with the leverage that I have on Bitcoin is, I think, 5x. On Ethereum is 8x, if I'm correct. Bro, my mining rewards are going insane. I mean, yeah, I mean, the gas fees right now for Ethereum, <laughs> super high, I would say. Uh, my Hyper, Mr. Hyper, please look at front. 
What is... I mean, I don't know if I should actually look at the altcoins. Uh, if uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum are pretty much pumping right now. Front USD. Uh, front... Uh, let's go like this. Front USDT. F front... Um, front BUSD on Binance. Whoa, this one is... Oh, we were looking at this one also on today's live stream in the morning. I remember. I remember about this one in the morning. Uh, we got the pull-up. So the price target right now for this one, let's see. Uh, 1.6 minute Fibonacci level uh, was reached. Next one would actually be uh, 5 US dollars and 25 cents. Um, if right now we are going to get past, I would say, if we are right now getting past uh, 1.6 minute Fibonacci level. Let's see. Uh... Watching, please do uh, do for daily time frame. Daily time frame, I mean, daily time frame also does look bullish, man. Daily time frame so far, um, we are, I mean, if we are cl closing the candle something like this on a daily time frame, of course, it does, it is going to be a very nice and big bullish candle, I would say. Uh, BlockRock was putting 1% of uh, of a 9 trillion dollar fund into BTC. That's 90 billion. Whoa, that's pretty, I mean, nice. Let's see right now Bitcoin. It is uh, not actually pumping anymore. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Where would you enter a short position? I mean, short short position in a bull market, of course, it's a very risky, I would say. But you could be looking maybe to go with a short position, let's say around 53,000 US dollars. Potentially, you could be getting into a short position if we are getting a clear rejection. If not, ride the wave up. Uh... We actually have pretty uh, healthy growth right now. I mean, yeah, so far so good, I would say. So far so good. Uh, price target of 1.6 Fibonacci level still has not been reached. So, so far I'm definitely bullish on Bitcoin. Let's see right now uh, how this is going to play out. Because, of course, this could already be right now, let's say, our third impulsive wave. Uh, but let's see right now if we are maybe going to push to 52,728 US dollars. It would be amazing, of course. Um... How do you find the price target on anything before it goes down again? Wait, with the price targets, you just, I mean, right here, of course, because of the alt waves from swing high to swing low. What's right now the measured price target for Bitcoin? We still need to look at Ethereum, guys. We still need to look at the Ethereum. Uh, let me right now see actually the results of the poll right here. Let me refresh the page. I'm going to show you this actually later, but very interesting. And also, I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you this. Why Doge is unlikely to ever reach one US dollar. Don't check your portfolio the moment you wake up. It's not worth your peace of mind. 100,000 Bitcoin much sooner than you think. Very interesting today uh, is going to be today's live stream. So we are only starting right here. We are only starting. Make sure you relax. You watch the entire one because all, this is only the start. I mean, here, 93.4. I, th I actually thought that uh, it was only me um, posting the, I mean, uh, looking at the chart uh, when I woke up. I mean, almost immediately when I wake up, grab my phone and look at the chart, or I would say at the price. Uh, so far, it's it does look like it's not, uh, I'm not the only one. <laughs> of course, Hyper, always it's religious at this point. <laughs> sometimes in the middle of night. Whoa. I mean, sometimes if I wake up in the middle of the night, of course, I also sometimes grab my phone, but not that often, to be honest. Usually in the morning, it's enough for me. I mean, very interesting, actually. Very interesting to see this. 93.4%. Nice. Let's go, Bitcoin. Let's go. Everybody does that. <laughs> Is Coinbase good for new people? Um, If you're new, I would actually go with... To be I mean... I am not. I don't really have any experiences with Coinbase, but in my opinion, Binance is the cheapest one if you're looking to buy Bitcoin and Ethereum and other altcoins. Uh, I would go with Binance. If you want to go with Binance, link is down below in the description. And also, Binance has much more, I would say, altcoins to offer uh, to buy. And because of it, yes, personally, I would go with Binance if you are new here. Uh, Binance link is down below in the description if you want to use Binance. If you want to go buy it, 90 US dollars for free in trading bonus for Bybit, for trading, but for if you're new, most probably you are going to go with maybe buying the coins, which I would actually go with Binance, to be honest. Uh, maybe the fundamental news is Peter Sh Mr. Schiff surrendering uh, slightly about Bitcoin. I mean, I actually also saw this, but uh, this was earlier today, if, I, if I'm correct. 
Interesting. Also, yeah, it actually the news about uh, about uh, Mr. Sheaf or Peter Sheaf were actually uh, on our national. Uh, I mean, uh, on our television program, which is actually very interesting to see. Uh, let's see. Whoa, Bitcoin making another all time high. I mean, come on, let's go to fifty two thousand six hundred seven hundred US dollars Bitcoin. Let's go. Uh, LTC fly, Litecoin flying also, but everything is flying except Ethereum. I would say everything is flying except Ethereum. I mean, Litecoin at the moment not doing anything. Ethereum not doing anything. Not doing anything. Bitcoin so far, pulling up. If you are new here, subscribe to the channel. We are doing daily Bitcoin price predictions daily, uh, Ethereum price predictions daily, altcoin price predictions, and right now Bitcoin is making another all-time high. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Smash the like button. 300 likes. I, I pretty much right now think it's pretty much imminent, uh, imminent right now. 300 likes, definitely possible. Sarah's Kitchen, thank you so much for 2.99 US dollar donation. Hi Hyper, are we able to see Bitcoin below 50,000? In my opinion, yes. In my opinion, yes. Why? Because as I said, if we are getting a confirmation of those bearish divergences being formed here on the weekly time frame, right here, if we are getting a confirmation of a weekly time frame bearish divergence, every single time uh, we actually retested 21 exponential moving average on the weekly time frame. And because of that, yes, I would say so it is possible to see Bitcoin below 50k. Uh, how far below 50k? I would say, let's say around 30,000 to 40,000 US dollars where our uh, 21 EMA is going to be on the weekly time frame. But so far, I would just like to say, so far, so good. We are pumping here. We are making another all damn high for Bitcoin. So, so far, I would actually say no. But if you look at the previous price action, definitely yes. Um, but of course, we need to see those bearish divergences to be confirmed for me to actually even say we are be able to even pull to the downside. But so far... So good, I would say. Fundamentals. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ethereum, man. Come on, Ethereum. Wake up and break the resistance level, man. Call Vitalik. Call Vitalik. Hi, Hyper. What's your target on this rally? Thanks. Uh, rally, if you mean the entire bull cycle for Bitcoin. Whoops. I just closed down the chat. Sorry. Let me actually uh, open the chat once again. I closed it. Um, my uh, price target, if we continue like this, 300,000 US dollars. 300,000 US dollars for Bitcoin. Let me actually open the chat once again because I actually closed it. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Um, let me open the chat real quick. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. COTI, why are you ignoring me? Dislike. Uh, I mean, COTI. Um, why would you actually right now look at the altcoins if Bitcoin is pumping, right? Uh, COTI, I think it's like this. COTI USDT. COTI, uh, oh, let's see. Double bottom. I think we actually looked at this one already. Some kind of the ABC correction, more movement to the upside. Actually, in my opinion, could definitely be expected. Uh, but of course, you are having also the double bottom right here. Price target for the double bottom pattern would actually be like this. But we are having, I think it, this is pretty much the Alnix Wave price structure. I do not have the Alnix Waves right now on my chart. Uh, but I can definitely say right now it does look bullish. If we are breaking the double bottom, if you want to trade the pattern. Uh, around here. 17 cents on this one. Ethereum is gonna pop like a... Soon. I mean, I don't know, man. Ethereum just lacking behind. I don't know. So right now, let me actually go with the, I mean, uh, indicators right now, of course, if we are not overbought, I'm not really going to bother with them. Let's go to Ethereum. With Ethereum right now, I can just say right like this. Ethereum also, uh, if we go right now with the, actually, let me go into hourly. We got a bullish retest. And of course, right now, Ethereum also broke the symmetrical triangle to the upside. Uh, with the bearish pattern that I was actually uh, showing you before, I just wanted to, uh, I wanted to show you the potential uh, hand and shoulders pattern. Uh, but so far, it does look like maybe we are going to invalidate head and shoulders pattern if we are going to break the resistance level right here. That means we need to go above the previous high right here, above the head pretty much. So with Ethereum right now, uh, I mean, so far, our price target for Ethereum uh, with our allied waves, our price target for this one would actually be 1,958 US dollars. Of course, you know about the price target about 1,940 US dollars. So I'm still, of course, bullish on Ethereum, but let's just see right now. If you maybe missed the opportunity to go with a long position, you could potentially be looking to go with a long position after the break of the resistance level above 1,849 US dollars. If we are breaking this level, potentially you could be looking to go with a long position on this one. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it right now with Ethereum. Ethereum so far, not doing almost anything, man. But it, of course, does look bullish. Do not get me wrong. Uh, but... 
Our price target for Ethereum, as I said before, 1,940 US dollars could be your first target. Second target, 1,958 US dollars. Um, third target, maybe 2,000 US dollars. Psychological level. There is an inverse hand and shoulders pattern in one hour time frame. Uh, also at four hour, go check it. Of course, we were talking about inverse hand and shoulders pattern already in our morning's live stream. Yes, we know about this. Uh, but so far, I mean, yes, we broke through the symmetrical triangle to the upside and also this inverse head and shoulders pattern. Uh, inverse head and shoulders pattern target right now is also around, I think, uh, 2,050 US dollars. And also symmetrical triangle price target is also, I think, around 2,000 US dollars. But yeah, around like this. 2000, yeah, 2000 US dollars right now. Around here would be the price target of the inverse head and shoulders pattern on Ethereum. Keep your Ethereum. Ethereum waits for BTC's pass. I mean, let's see right now if Bitcoin is going to be able to actually go to our price target. I haven't got any price targets. I mean, uh, limit orders uh, at 1.27 to FIB level. I only set the price targets, I think, around 52,600 ish US dollars. Um, let's see. Crow, man, please do, sp uh, please stop spamming. Um, Bitcoin almost 1 trillion. Oh, with the market cap. Yes, we were looking at the market cap for Bitcoin. Actually, let me show you this. We were looking at the market cap for Bitcoin right here. We actually surpassed 10 cent and 1 trillion, man. Whoa, what is going on with crypto? In my opinion, definitely we could surpass gold. To be honest, I think we can surpass gold in the next couple of uh, years, I would say. In my opinion, yes. Dude, chill. Um, why? Alt's giving uh, giving way more profit than Ethereum at the moment. I mean, definitely Ethereum. So far, to be honest, Ethereum is not doing anything. Ethereum not doing anything. Okay, so right now let me actually go through ADA. I am going to cover right now some altcoins, and then we need to look at this one. Why Dogecoin is unlikely to ever reach one US dollar? Don't check your portfolio the moment you wake up. It's not worth your peace of mind. 100k Bitcoin much sooner than you think. And also right now, I'm going to show you this, of course. Bitcoin is eating gold. If you haven't already, make sure right now you are actually voting in this sweater poll. You need to vote for us to see the results. Is Bitcoin going to be able to make another all-time high? Let's see. Uh, let's check BNB. Let's check BNB because we are in a long position for BNB. BNB. Oh, maybe right now my price target was hit right here. Uh, let's see. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe my price target or take profit area for a BNB was maybe already hit. Uh, because of course this is right now the spot market. You need to know this is right now the spot market uh, for a BNB and the price target. I mean the prices for BNB USD on perpetuals or, or I would say on this one BNB USD. Let's see. Let's see. Binance, BNB, USDT, uh, where is it, where is it, BNB, where is the, where is the, where are the coin futures for this one, one yeah, I think, yeah, my price target for BNB was hit, I think, on, on, uh, BNB coin right now, should I invest, bro, please do stop spamming, should you invest right now, in my opinion, no, in my, I mean, right now, you are going to buy the all-time high, so, I don't think that's, that would be the best idea, to be honest. But dollar cost averaging would be the best idea, in my opinion. Buy something today, buy something the next week, the next week, the next week, you're going to get the average price. But all in right now, definitely not, because you are going to, you are buying the all-time high. My BNB position just closed. Made nice profits thanks to you, um, to your not financial advice. Thank you, man. Welcome, you're welcome, man. Pipsa, thank you so much for a very nice comic. Very glad that you actually made some profits. Um... I also think my actually my long position for BNB was actually closed, if I am correct. Um, actually, right now, before we continue to our price target, I mean price targets for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and also also altcoins, let me take a sip of water and we go straight into the altcoins. For you right now, what you need to do right now, smash the like button and also, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because I'm doing daily Bitcoin price predictions, daily Ethereum price predictions, daily altcoin price prediction live streams and also, of course, uh, videos. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel, smash the like button, 900 likes right now, uh, imminent. Let me take a sip of water and we go straight to the altcoins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc. Cheers.
Thank you, bro. You're welcome, M I M Y. Toy Wolf, GG's man on your trade. Uh, I mean, I don't know exactly, uh, I'm not exactly uh, sure who actually mentioned BNB on the live stream, but of course we checked it and we are pumping. Uh, also, I think I'll go right now. Uh, no, yeah, I'll go right team. Also, I'll go so, so far so good, I would say. So far, it does look like we are uh, breaking rising wedge pattern to the upside, which is nice. Ethereum woke up. Let's see. Ethereum, no, actually, Ethereum is not doing anything. Ethereum not doing anything. Come on. Please reply. Should I buy a little Bitcoin now? Um, let, I mean, dollar cost average. If you are buying for longer term, if you buy something right now at 52,000 or if you buy something then at 50,000, most probably it's not going to make a big difference, right? Uh, longer term, I would say yes. Short term, I would actually say no. Because so far, let's see what is happening with Bitcoin. It does look like we're getting a little bit of a pull down. Um, Hyper, what is the volume on Bitcoin looking like, please? Let's see volume. Volume for Bitcoin. We actually got a spike. I mean, volume looks pretty good, in my opinion, on the 30 minute. Hourly time frame, not the nicest, but we actually got, a, I mean, definitely not the best. The volume is not the best, not gonna lie. But hourly so far, we got, even we got an increase in the volume, which is nice. 30 minute also. So I would say volume is decent, not perfect, definitely not. Um, let's see, where should we exit trade for a trace on Bitcoin? Do you mean where should you actually be looking to go with uh, where you should be taking the profits? Our price target would be 52,728 52, US dollars here for Bitcoin. Um, let's see. Late, please. Uh, let me actually write a look at the altcoins. First one is going to be ADA actually. ADA is going to be the first one that we are going to look at. Uh, with ADA right now, let's see. I mean... This is my price prediction for ADA. I don't know if I should do actually any anything else for this one. Uh, that's right now my price prediction for ADA, to be honest. Nothing else you need, in my opinion, of course. That's the price prediction for ADA. You can right now uh, look at it. I mean, the price targets are not in, I would say. The, whoops. The price targets are not in, but this is right now the price prediction. This is right now the path that, in my opinion, ADA right now is going to take. This is right now with ADA. I don't know if I should actually give any more, I would say, technical analysis for this one, because that's pretty much it. Hit the like uh, button, exactly. 900 likes imminent, right? Uh, let's see, get to work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, next one, GRT, GRT USDT on Binance. Um, GRT, let's see, double bottom. I think we also looked at this one earlier today. Am I correct? I don't know. Uh, double bottom also on this one, higher low, and if you right now say this is the first one, correction, second one, price target for short, uh, short term price target would be the previous high right here, 2.91 US dollars. I am bullish on this one, man. I am bullish. Stop loss, uh, I would say, um, uh, your, um, what is, uh, what is called, um, where you should be setting the stop loss, potentially below 0 0.382, uh, I mean 0 0.236 Fibonacci level, you could be your stop loss. Price target for this one. Let me actually make the path tool for this one. Bam, bam, bam. Something like this, in my opinion, GRT USDT. Thank you, you're welcome, man. X, uh, XNS, please, bro, big scam. XNS, USDT, let's see. KuCoin, Insular. What is this? Haven't heard, oh, why is, what is this, man? Whoa, I mean, it does look like we are, whoa, that's pretty much the all-time high. <laughs> I mean, investing in this, I mean, it, it does look like we are pretty much continuing our trend for this one. We are going down. Uh, Insular, what is this? Haven't, I mean, how could I do this uh, TA on this one? It's the old time low, man. I would not invest in this one. I would not invest in this one, to be honest. I mean, so far, it does look like we are pretty much made. I mean, this was the old time low, right? No, I mean, almost, almost. I would not go with this one. I would not go with this one, to be honest. The scam people. They scam people. I mean... It does look like they are scamming the people pretty much all the way. I mean, uh, all the time. Because of the... Right here. I don't know. Ethereum pumping, let's see. Ethereum 30 minute. Ethereum not doing anything, man. We need to break the resistance level right now. We need to break the resistance level. Stay away. Just tuning in. What's your price prediction for Ethereum soon? Ethereum price prediction right now. Short term, I would say, let's see. Short term price prediction for Ethereum would be... Uh, 1,940 US dollars, around there, around there. 
Nas Hussain, thank you so much for two US, uh, two pound donation. Great content. Where shall I put my BNB profit? Uh, BNB right now for profit. I would already be looking to take some. Oh, actually, right now we are once again pushing up. 170 US dollars was my first target for BNB. If we are right now continuing our way to the upside, my next price target would be 151 US dollars. Would be my next price target for this one. But if you are maybe right now consider taking some profits, maybe right now. Uh, your, I mean, this one is also pumping so much. Uh, 181 US dollars would be right now my next price target if right now 1.618 Fibonacci level is going to get broken to the upside. Very, very simple. ADA pumping. ADA USDT. Oh, ADA also pulling up. Nice. I mean, yeah, that's the price prediction for ADA. Reef. Let's go right now with Reef USDT actually. Reef USDT. Um, diagonal resistance level getting broken. Let's see. Diagonal resistance level getting broken. It does look like we are getting... Uh, I mean, it is uh, getting broken at least. So, I am, of course, I'm a holder of Reef. I'm a holder of Reef, but so far... Uh, of course, depends how you're going to make the... I would say the uh, diagonal resistance level, but it does look like maybe with this candle or maybe the next one, maybe, of course, we could be getting uh, a break out of diagonal resistance level. But so far, so good. It does look bullish. Next price target, 0 0.063 cents on this one. And the next one, 0 0.072 cents. We are looking bullish on Reef. We are looking bullish. If we are breaking the resistance level right here, potential long position, and also maybe another one could be the break of the double bottom. Double bottom neckline is 0 0.5 Feb level, potential long position right here. Uh, dot. Let me actually look at Polkadot. Let me look at the Polkadot. Dot USDT on Binance. Breaking resistance level, the, we are pumping on this one. Uh, I am bullish on Polkadot, man. I am bullish on Polkadot, to be honest. Uh, I mean, yeah, right now, let me go with the high to the low. 1.272 Feb level, 33.35 US dollars would be right now my price target for uh, Polkadot. But yeah, I am bullish on this. Actually, let me look at this. Um, yeah, I am bullish on this one. 33.35, uh, first target, second target, 33.37.4 uh, US dollars. We are bullish on this one. Um, EOS, I mean EOS, yeah. With EOS, we are, uh, I'm in a long for this one. I'm in a long position for EOS. Uh, we are holding along. I think, I mean, if you joined maybe the long position um, wh when I posted this one in the morning, uh, we are pumping on. I mean, we are breaking the diagonal support level, uh, diagonal resistance level to the upside. So I'm bullish on US. Uh, you guys so egoistic. I thought we are one family. Chat, help. Chat, man, why nobody helps? Just tell me. I mean, yeah, please do. I mean, if you're spamming right now, please do uh, stop spamming, man. Please stop spamming. Petros, thank you so much for two euro donation. What is your take profit on Algo? Algo, very, very simple. Re I mean, price target for Algo, up here. The start of the falling wedge pattern right now would be your price target for Algo right here. That means, let's say, around, I would say, 1.76 US dollars because the previous highs were there. So around here, I would say. Around 1.76 US dollars could be right now your price target for Algo USDT. Uh, but yeah, we are looking bullish on this one. We are looking bullish. We are breaking the rising wedge pattern to the upside. Pump it. Send it to the upside, man. Uh, MTA, please. Young style. Work welcome to the stream. MTA USDT. Let's see this one. MTA USDT. Uh, Huobi. You are trading on Huobi. MDA USD. You are on oh, Huobi or FTX. Um... Let's see, on the four hour time frame on this one. Uh huh. With the support resistance on this one, actually, let me see. MDA, let me go on a daily actually. We do have some previous price action right here. I would say we are having the resistance or I would say support level for this one right here. With the, I mean, also support level, I would say the support level could be actually around here. And the resistance level on this one is going to be, let's see. I would say, I would actually say right here. This is right on the resistance level for this one. Uh, let's see uh, with the, uh, yeah, no, I would say right like this. Uh, support level right now being retested on a daily time frame. So, uh, so far, I mean, on the four hour time frame, personally, I would not go with a long on this one. I mean, on the four hour time frame, the price action, in my opinion, it's pretty much very, very weird. Not very tradable in my opinion at the moment. Uh, but let me just maybe measure from the swing. Whoops, not like this. We need to go from swing low to swing high. Uh, let's see. If we are saying that this is right on the low right here and this is right on the high, 
Uh, it does look like, actually, where is the fab? Uh, this is right now, I mean, 0 0.5 fab level before was retested golden pocket at the support level, if you look like this. So, if we are right now, I mean, it does look like we are forming bullish PMR. So, potentially, you could be looking to go with a long position. Safest way, in my opinion, to go with a long position on this one would be above the resistance level at the break of this level. Uh, the price target for this one... Actually, actually, actually... If this is right, now let me actually show you this. First impulsive correction. Second impulsive... Um, this could be... Let's see. Let me actually... Whoa. Let me actually see something. Let me actually see something right now. Where was the... Okay. Oh, yeah. If you are right now looking to go with this one, I would maybe go with the breakout trade through the resistance level above 4.79 US dollars. Uh, if we are right now going to continue our way to the upside. Uh, with a possible price target for this one. Uh, with a possible price target for this one, 6.9 US dollars, I would say. 6.9 US dollars for MTA USDT. But yeah. But depends how right now you are going to maybe count the alley waves. If you say right now that this is the first one correction, second one correction, and the third one, or first one correction, second one correction, and the third one. Depends how you are going to right now count the alley waves, I would say. Uh, what is your take on... Okay, thanks. You are welcome. Uh, XRP. XRP might take profit. Or XRP is... Um, let me just go on the 4 hourly. Uh, for already, uh, I mean, the uh, the price target of the falling wedge pattern would be right here. 63 cents, uh, partial uh, partial take profit, 57 cents in this one. Um, can we watch Ivan on tech uh, video in celebration of Bitcoin holding 52,000? Uh, I am, I mean, I do not really think I should actually go with Ivan on tech right now because... Uh, because... Um, uh, it is most probably copyrighted content, and I, don't, I really do not want to right now watch other YouTubers on, on the stream right here. Let's see right now if Bitcoin is going to right now be able to actually pull up, to actually pull higher. So far, it does look like 1.272 Fibonacci level, unfortunately, is acting as our resistance level. So let's see, let's see. Depends what candles are we going to get right here. Um, let's see. Hmm... What is happening with Ethereum? Ethereum, nothing. Nothing is happening with Ethereum. Uh, should I swap my Ethereum for altcoins at the moment? Um, my Ethereum for the altcoins, of course. I mean, if you want. Uh, but, I mean, Ethereum still, I would say. It's still, I would say. Ethereum has potential, but... I don't know. I don't know what I would say right now with Ethereum. Because Ethereum is very much lacking behind. So far, if uh, alt more other altcoins are more, uh, I would say other altcoins are more, um, it looks like more interesting than Ethereum, to be honest. But I'm not going to say if you should swap or not, because unfortunately, I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, oh, Ivet Sabo, thank you so much for uh, 1,000 half. Uh, BTG Bitcoin Gold, please. Let's go on this one. Thank you so much, man, for watching. BTG, what is the ticker? BTG USDT, I think, right? Uh, Bitcoin Gold, let's look at this one. Hit BTC. On the four hour time frame, let's see. Uh, for this one, whoa, I mean, we are getting a pretty big pump for this one. And so far, maybe it could actually be maybe some kind of a. Mm, if the, no, it actually. If this was a bull, I mean, no, it, in my opinion, it's not really a bull flag. Uh, resistance level was almost retested on this one. So let's see. Uh, yeah, resistance level almost retested. So, of course, undercut the market, take the profits a little earlier. So, yeah, I would say right now, like this. If we are, on this one, continuing our way to the upside, potentially you could be looking to go, I would say, uh, with a long position on this one. If we are breaking right on the resistance level. If the resistance level is going to be broken, I would say the next key level for this one would can be up here. Can be up here at around 84.6 US dollars. If right now we are breaking the resistance level, then your next price target could be actually... Uh, could be actually 84.6 uh, 84 US dollars. If we are right now getting a pull down, we are definitely right now in the uptrend. Uh, and with this one right now, uh, and with this one right now, of course, um, if we are getting a pull down, potentially you could be looking to go also with a long position. Right now, if you go and measure the entire move to the upside, let me actually go from this one to this one, golden pocket exactly at the support level. So at the support levels, or I would say at the uh, Fibonacci levels, you could potentially be looking to go with a long position on this one. 
Uh, but if we are breaking the resistance level, you can also go with the breakout trade. Your price target here could actually be 84.6 US dollars on BTG USDT. Very, very simple. What is the next target? What is the next target? What is the next uh, level of Bitcoin if it stays above 50,000 US dollars? Uh, price target right now for Bitcoin uh, would be, our price target is still the same. Around 53,000 US dollars. More, I would say, um, uh, 1.6 by Fibonacci Bonacci level, 52,728 US dollars could be right now your uh, price target where potentially you could be looking to take some profits on Bitcoin. Um, Let's see. PJ, please check your Discord. Send you pick resistance for BTC diagonal. Let's see. Uh, Bitcoin, let's see. Uh, Bitcoin trading. Uh, let me actually scroll down. Let me actually scroll down. Uh, Bitcoin hyper. Uh, let's see. Diagonal resistance level for Bitcoin. Interesting. Thank you actually for sharing this. Uh, let's see. Hourly. Two hourly. Mm -hmm. Let me actually go on this chart. Uh, actually, not on this one. Oh, this one. That, that's what, that was the chart that I actually shared in the Discord, actually. Uh, two hourly. About your... Actually, let me see. You're on the hourly time frame. Let's see. Hourly time frame. Diagonal resistance level. Something... Oh, yeah. It could be. Actually, it could be. It could be. It could be diagonal resistance level. Nice, man. Nice. Uh, with the wicks. Maybe even something like this. Yeah, it could be, actually. It could be diagonal resistance level for this one. Thank you, actually, for... No actually, maybe even like this. Whoa, actually very interesting. Thank you so much for actually posting this on uh, in the Discord server, man. Uh, yeah, it does look like a diagonal resistance level for Bitcoin. So if you are maybe right now holding a long, I mean, potentially taking some profits would not be that bad, to be honest. Uh, let me actually go on the, let me see. Um, I mean, depends right now how you're going to go with the alley trades, but if this is right now the first one, correction, second one, correction, and this could of course right now be the third one. Or the fifth impulsive wave so taking some profits right now actually would not be that uh, that bad uh, or i would say that um, dump idea i would say um let's see i mean it is a bullish pin bar here actually it would not be that bad to take some profits right now on bitcoin actually i am going to take some profits right now i am going to take some profits right now for bitcoin not going to close my entire position just going to take some profits actually five million right here what the heck uh let me go like this Let me just set the limit orders real quick for Bitcoin. Let me take the uh, let me set the limit orders. Um, I mean the order book right now. How would I be able to? Okay, right now I think I can. Hopefully, I'm going to get filled. Oh, we got a donation, Doc Leviet. Thank you so much for Jack Crown's fifty donation. Instead of spamming, try to support uh, try to support him and be hyper will help you out. What about NM NMR? Thanks for the analysis. Uh, exactly, man. Exactly. I mean, please do not spam in the chat because it's annoying, man. It's annoying. NMR USDT on Binance. Thank you for watching the live streams, man. Thank you for watching. Uh, well, with this one, we are having a weird price action, I would say. Support level right here. Resistance level. It does look like it actually was hit. Uh, resistance level. I would say actually right here. Resistance level right here. None of the candles. Oh, actually, maybe higher because of the candles. Like, like let's go like this. Um, let's go like this. Uh, so far, yeah, I would say this is right on the resistance level for this one. Uh, what would I say with this one? Uh, maybe this is some kind of the ABC correction. We got a pull down ABC correction. Oh, not like this. ABC correction. Uh, before potential movement to the upset, of course, is possible on this one, but. If you're right now looking to trade this one, I would maybe go with the breakout trade through the resistance level. That means about 48, uh, 48.8 US dollars. Could be right now your um, your um, a breakout trade for this one. Uh, but your price target for this one, let me actually go like this. Uh, your price target... Um, hmm. I would not go with this low, actually. Mm, I mean, you can... Yeah, no, yeah, you can go. You can go with this low. Uh, I mean, with this high. Uh, price target, if you are going to go with the breakout trade for this one, would be right here. 56.46 US dollars. If we are right now breaking this resistance level to the upside. Uh, but entering in the middle, of course, I would personally not enter in the middle with a long position so far. Uh, pretty much very weird price action, I would say. If we are breaking resistance level, potential long position on this one. So far, it does look like, uh, I mean, we are definitely in the uptrend. 
Bitcoin is pumping. So I think that my limit orders right now actually got failed. Um, let's see. Yeah, I mean, Bitcoin once again pushing to the upside. Nice, nice. Let's see, right now, I mean, our price target is 53,000 US dollars. Let's see if we are going to be able to uh, go, go that high, I would say. Uh, Bitcoin trying to pump right now. Lol. Ethereum, what Ethereum? Ethereum, nothing. Bitcoin, let's see, nothing is happening. Let's see. Mm. Alrond, what is this? Alrond, Alrond. Uh, oh, EGLD, EGLD. EGLD, USDT on Binance. Uh, perfect re- I mean, let me go on the 4 hourly actually. 4 hourly re- Oh yeah, we already talked about this one. Rejection at the resistance level. Potential long position above the re uh, resistance level right here. Uh, for this one. But of course, double bottom. Target for Algorat. Uh, Algorat, Algo, we mentioned this one before. Uh, uh, this one. Top of this one. The rising wedge but uh, rising wedge- no, rising wedge. Falling wedge patterns target is right here. The, uh, the start of the uh, falling wedge, right here. We still need to go through the post right here. Why Doge is unlikely to ever uh, ever reach one US dollar? Don't check your portfolio the moment you wake up. It's not worth your peace of mind. 100k Bitcoin much sooner than you think. We are going to go through everything right here. And also, if you haven't already, make sure you actually vote in the poll right here, uh, which is pinned in the comments, uh, or I would say in the YouTube section uh, comments right here. 93.6%. Uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, of course, if you're new here, smash, uh, subscribe to the channel because I am uploading daily Bitcoin and Ethereum price predictions, uh, live streams, and also videos. Make sure, I mean, not videos right now not, are not that, I would say, often because right now we are doing the live streams, but make sure you are subscribed to the channel, smash the like button right now, 400 likes on the live stream. I pretty much think it's pretty much imminent right now. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel, turn on post notifications, join our free Discord server, link is down below in the description. Uh, like and subscribe, exactly. XRP and Ethereum are dead. Ethereum, I mean Ethereum, man, what is going on here? Nothing is happening with Ethereum at the moment. Nothing. BNB pumping again, let me see. BNB USDT. Oh, B whoa, we are even above 1.618. Let's see, our next price target, if we continue our way to the upside, 181 US dollars. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Searching for a low cap gem. Look out for Tau. Haven't heard about this one. I haven't heard about this one. BNB pumping again. Yeah, it does look like we are pumping on BNB. Uh, BNB. Our next price target for BNB is right here. Eight, 181 US dollars and 19 cents. But if you are right now in a long position, it would be actually smart to take some profits. Uh, Alrond. EGLD. EGLD. Uh, as I said before, if we are breaking resistance out, bro, bro, please stop spamming. Uh, stop spamming because I'm going to time you out. Uh, resistance level, if the resistance level gets broken, potentially you could be looking to go with a long position. Check volume on ETH. I mean, volume is that, right? I mean, no, volume actually... I mean, volume is actually pretty high if you look like this. If you compare the volume here and here, volume for ETH is actually pretty high, to be honest. Uh, but we are not... Um... So far, nothing is happening with Ethereum. Let's see if we are going to be able and break the resistance level. Potential long on Zill. Let me actually ch check Zillica. Zillica USDT. I'm also a holder of Zillica. Breaking the symmetrical triangle on Zillica, actually. We are breaking the symmetrical triangle for Zillica. Interesting. I'm a holder for Zillica, actually. I'm a holder. A spot holder. Uh, breaking the, uh, I would say, the symmetrical triangle to the upside. Our price target for this one would actually be right here. Uh, whoa, another all-time high. 18, 18 uh, cents on this one. Van Marcus, thank you so much for 20 sec donation. Ethereum will pump when the whales accumulate your stack. I mean, with Ethereum right now, it does look like it's very much lacking behind, I would say, Bitcoin. But maybe actually we, we could check Ethereum BTC chart. Uh, thank you, man, for watching the live stream. Uh, Ethereum BTC. I mean, we are breaking the support level, unfortunately. We are breaking the support level on Ethereum BTC chart. Actually, let me check Ethereum BTC on, let's say, Coinbase uh, for our time frame. Uh, let me check the price action here. Um, so with the Alnit Waves right now, it is actually it is pr pretty clear, to be honest. So with Alnit Waves on the 4-hour time frame, I would actually say something like this. If this was right now our first impulsive correction, second impulsive correction, uh, third one. Uh, let's see. 
it could be actually, it could be something like this on Ethereum BTC chart. Right now, so far, it does look like we're having some kind of the ABC correction. And let's just see how this is going to play out. But yeah, maybe something like this. Of course, it's actually possible right here. First one, second one, third one, or one, two, three, four, five. Let's see, um, what's a good crypto to invest if I have $500 right now? Not a lot, I know. Um, with the US dollars, I would say, I mean, uh, with the cryptocurrency, which one to invest in? I would diversify my, my portfolio. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano is also a good one. Uh, I would say um, Cardano, uh, Chainlink. So actually, let me, check, uh, let me look at Chainlink. Uh, I would do, I mean, I would diversify my portfolio. I would not go all in with one coin, uh, but Chainlink so far, let me see. So far, Chainlink not doing anything. Uh, with Chainlink right now, it does look like this could be actually turning into the, into some kind of a descending triangle, unfortunately. Uh, descending triangle has a hard probability of breaking to the downside. So maybe something like this on Chainlink right now. Unfortunately, a bearish pattern, but let's see, breakout imminent, definitely. Link looks promising. So far, it's a descending triangle, high probability we break in this one to the to the downside. So let's see. Did you already cover uh, BNB? Hit the like button, guys. Of course, we already covered BNB. BNB so far, to our next price target, uh, 181 US dollars and 119 cents on this one. But we are bullish on BNB. Of course, we actually took a long position in the morning uh, on the morning live stream. So, I mean, if you are here, subscribe to the channel because you do not want to miss our morning's live stream where we are, of course, doing the price predictions. And of course, I'm also giving you trading ideas every single day for light, uh, for uh, not Litecoin, of course, also, also for Litecoin, but for Bitcoin and also for, uh, for I mean, not for, for altcoins and also for uh, Bitcoin and uh, of course, also for Ethereum. Let's see if Bitcoin right now is going to be able to actually push to... 53,000 US dollars. Let's see. Descending triangle is usually bullish. Descending triangle has a higher probability of breaking to the downside, to be honest. Oh, Ethereum woke up maybe. Oh, maybe Bitcoin is going to be able to make another all-time high. Maybe Bitcoin is going to be make another all-time high, right? Let's see. Uh, whoa, another... Whoa, Bitcoin made another all-time high. What happened? To our price target, let's see, let's see right now, Bitcoin, if we are going to be able to go to 52,728 US dollars, where is right now our next price target for Bitcoin? Uh, I mean, I'm getting excited when I see the all time high for Bitcoin. Let me actually see, let me remove this. Let me make this one very accurate like this and also with this one. Maybe a little bit lower like this, bam. Exactly. Let's see right now. Let's see for Bitcoin. Are we going to be able to make an, I mean, uh, to, I mean, we already made another all time high. Uh, but so far, so good. It does look like we are pumping. We are pumping for Bitcoin right now. Let's see. Uh, my take profit right now, uh, a little bit higher, a little bit higher. My take profit is going to be hit. I think a little bit higher. I know, yeah, I right now. Oh, I mean, I mean, uh, I took the profits. I took the profits, right? Exactly rejection at one uh, at this level. Exact rejection. Uh, hopefully you took the profits right now. You took the profits. You can see right now what happened at 1.61 Fibonacci level. We got a rejection. Um, maybe you took the profits right here. Uh, let's see. I think we, I actually got failed. I think I actually got failed. Let me just check this real quick. I mean, I'm getting excited. Yeah, I got failed. I got failed. Uh, nice. Uh, I mean, a perfect reject. I mean, right now the Alnit waves could be already finished. So make, may, uh, uh, bear this in mind. Uh, Alnit waves right now could already be finished because of 1.2, uh, 1.6 minutes Fibonacci level. I'm not saying we cannot get, uh, we cannot go, go higher. But let's see. We got a pretty big pull down right here. Uh, maybe I'm getting too, much, too, uh, too excited for this one, but yeah, I mean. BTC pumping, exactly. Ethereum. Come on, Ethereum. Make another all-time high life on the live stream. Uh, price target hit almost exactly as we predicted. I mean, bro, if you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Price target almost exactly as predicted. Exactly, guys. <laughs> I mean, right now we can already go lower. Let's see, let's see if we are going to right now actually uh, break 1.618. So far, it does look like we are pushing once again to the upside. 52,700 US dollars, exactly. Uh, Bitcoin will drag all my altcoins down. <laughs> I mean, Bitcoin, I mean, let me check Bitcoin dominance, actually. Let's check, uh, Bitcoin dominance, uh, whoa. 
Uh, we got, yeah, on Bitcoin Dominance, I think I actually uh, did TA on this one already yesterday. Left shoulder, head right here, right shoulder. Whoa, Bitcoin, I mean... Let's go. Let's go higher, I would say. Best YouTuber I found prop, uh, props, man, thanks. You're welcome, man, you're welcome. Link breakout. Chain link breakout, let's see. Everything is breaking out. Oh, I mean, not really out of the descending triangle, I would say. But yeah, it does look like we also got a pull on this one. And also, let me check ADA. ADA USDT, nothing doing, uh, not doing anything. XRP USDT, I think, I mean, a long call. So yes, we are, I mean, not doing anything, but EOS USDT. EOS USDT on Binance, not doing anything. Only Bitcoin and Ethereum maybe right now. Ethe oh, Ethereum is going to maybe try and break the uh, resistance level. Let's see. Let me actually remove everything from the chart. I have too many things, uh, too many things on this one. Uh, price target for ETH, 1,958 US dollars or around 1,940 US dollars where, where we are having the CPR level and also the, uh, the Fibonacci pivot points. Bitcoin, exact rejection at this specific level. I mean, you can see right now Fibonacci points are, I'm not Fibonacci, Fibonacci retracement or Fibonacci extension, extension magic, I'm telling you. Uh, never mind, lol. Uh, Litecoin is pumping. Let's see Litecoin. LTC, LTC, USDT on Binance. Uh, Litecoin trying to break the resistance level. Litecoin price target would be 800, 250 US dollars on Litecoin. Let's see if we are going to be able to break the resistance level for this one. I mean, it does already look like maybe we already break, broke the resistance level, but let's see. Bitcoin, let's see with Bitcoin. Uh, um, this one right now could actually already be finished. This could already be right now finished. Uh, why is my fifth? Uh, this could right now be something that is already. Just, just saying. If you, uh, I mean, if you're right now in a long, would be very, very smart in my opinion to take the profits, man. Would be very, very smart. But let's see. Asia, I think that Asia pretty much likes to, uh, likes to, um, likes to pump the market, right? This is right now with the uh, with uh, this with uh, with uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum. Let's see Ethereum. Come on, Ethereum, break the resistance level. What is going on? I mean, bro, with the price targets. I mean, tell me right now, technical analysis doesn't work. Do we have someone in the chat right now? Asia dumps. Uh, do we have right now someone in the chat? Uh. No, what uh, what I wanted to ask, I actually forgot. I actually forgot what what I wanted to ask. Never mind. <laughs> no, actually, I, I remembered. Do we have someone in the chat that does not believe uh, that does not believe that price uh, that technical analysis actually works? <laughs> when Chinese wake up, they, they check price and drop their banks. What happened to you? Oh, with Ethereum? I mean, Ethereum, come on. Eth Let me check Ethereum BTC chart. Ethereum BTC chart is tanking, man. Tanking on the 30 minutes, 4 hourly. We are tanking here. Uh, let me actually go with the Feb. Let me actually go with the Feb real quick. Where is the top? Where is the top? Like this. 0 0.5 Feb level right now is going to be tested on on uh, ethereum so let's see maybe if this is going to maybe right now if we are getting a bounce here a pull up and maybe also on ethereum then right because ethereum btc chart let's see ethereum manipulated uh lots of miners in china asia is only natural for it to go down i mean i know for my personal experience i mean of course sometimes when uh i mean because asia market of course it's pretty much in the middle of the night for europe and when i wake up the price is very high or very low. So definitely we are having very big price movements uh, when we, I mean, when we, uh, Asia wakes up, but usually uh, Asia usually dumps on last day FOMO. Yeah, I mean, we are having, uh, uh, that's the thing that I want to say. When, I, uh, when I'm asleep, then we are having the biggest price action, I would say. Uh, no, actually what I noticed, around 1 a.m. for me, or I would say 12 p.m., uh, no, 12, uh, no, Around, yeah, 1 a.m., we are having big price action. Also, around 12 or let's say 1 p.m., uh, no, 1 a.m., we have big price action and also 1 
1 a.m. and also 1 p.m. we are having big price action. That's that's what I want to say. Very interesting. Very interesting. That's what I would. Uh, that that's what I've noticed. Not always. I mean, not always. Definitely not always. But yeah. Right now, Bitcoin does look like. I mean, I think I actually need to post this on Twitter. I think I need to post this on Twitter right now. Uh, let me remove the resistance. I need to post this on Twitter real quick. Uh, I need to post this as soon as possible right now on Twitter. Let me make this one a little bit smaller, like this. Uh, bam, let me actually post this on Twitter right now, like this. And right now, if you are here, make sure right now you smash the like button. Uh, hashtag Bitcoin, hit our price target exactly as predicted. <laughs> Like this, hashtag crypto, hashtag cryptocurrency. Like this. Uh, okay, let me make, make a tweet of this one. <laughs> and let me right now post it. Uh, I mean, and let me uh, actually, oh, two more followers. We are at 1,500, let's go. Make sure right now you smash the uh, like button on this one. Can we get, I don't know, to 100, 200, 300 likes right now? I think we can, right? And also, if you haven't already, make sure you vote right there. Do you immediately check Bitcoin Ethereum price when we when you wake up? Interesting, interesting. The live stream is definitely not over. We are going to go through. We are going to go through why Dogecoin is unlikely to ever reach one US dollar. Don't check your portfolio the moment you wake up. It's not worth your peace of mind. And also, one hundred thousand Bitcoin much sooner than you think. Another thing that we are going to look at is this this one. Bitcoin is eating gold. But right now, before we actually look at everything right now, make sure you smash the like button in on this uh, Twitter post right here. Make sure, I don't know, 100 likes imminent right here, I would say. Make sure you smash the like button. Uh, I'm getting ready to give up on Ethereum. Do you have any words of uh, encouragement? Personally, 0.55 level could still be a bounce right here. Ethereum BTC chart, as I showed you before, 0.5 level could still be, I would say, uh, where potentially we could bounce. But yeah, let's see. Let's see how this is going to go. Let's see. Exactly as predicted, guys. Exactly. If you do not believe me, watch uh, the live stream. I mean, actually, you can watch this live stream, rewind the live stream, and you are going to see that I was talking about exactly this specific level at the start of the live stream before it happened. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go right now back. Are we going to be able to actually go even higher to let's say 53,000 US dollars where we are having right now our, um, I would say our CPR levels. Let's see if we're going to be able to go to the CPR levels. This was right now only the Fibonacci. Let's see if we continue our way to the upside. Our next price target, if you are looking at that. Oh, actually, I just realized something. I just realized something. If you would go with the Fibonacci, uh, Fib, uh, this one. Uh, let me actually show you this from hop down like this one fibonacci level at fifty-three thousand two hundred us dollars right now let me actually mark this zone real quick let me actually mark this zone with uh this tool we go from the top to the bottom something like this this is right on the zone that we are watching uh let me remove the fibonacci's because i have too many things on, on the chart cpr levels and also uh, yeah this is right on the yeah, 53 oh this one is at 53,000. but fibonacci levels right now are around here uh, are around here uh, so this one, yeah, fifty-three thousand US dollars is going to be my next price uh, bro, take profit uh, take profiting area for Bitcoin. With Ethereum, come on, Ethereum price target one thousand nine hundred and forty US dollars because of the CPR levels. Check ADA, ADA is pumping. Uh, ADA not doing anything. ADA not doing anything. This is right on the price prediction for ADA, man. BTC to pump further within 20 minutes. I am marking your word. Actually, I'm going to... Uh, no, I'm not, but uh, yeah. Hope, hope so, hope so. That means right now at... Hopefully, I mean, I'm going to be uh, live streaming right now for the next 20 minutes. And of course, we are going to see... Uh, we are going to see if Bitcoin is going to pump, right? Should I buy Ethereum? Uh, Ethereum Classic. Let, let me actually check. Ethereum Classic right now. Um, Double bottom on this one. We are having a double bottom on this one. Uh, so, potential buy above the resistance level, I'd say. But right now, I mean, I mean, right now, let me just go with the Fib level real quick. I mean, it was exactly. So, if you look right now, maybe a possible Alnitz wave price structure. First one, 
correction, second one, correction, third one. Uh, or fifth one, so maybe something like this, but yeah. I went to run, nice. I haven't ran, I would say, for quite some time right now. <laughs> Hi Hyper, I love your technical analysis whenever you post. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Let's see. Go, go to the Mars. Nice. So this is right now with uh, EAP. Profile. Let's see the results. I want to see the results right now. 94%. Come on. Nice. Uh... Let's see. Uh, I know it's your analysis. I'm gonna bet it. Can you please share what are your Fibonacci level, please? Fibonacci levels are pretty much default settings. Pretty much default settings. I uh, I think I only added 0.65 Fibonacci level and also 1.272 Fibonacci level. Those are pretty much default. Nothing else. Hi Hyper, shall we sell uh, altcoin at them with profit now since Bitcoin is rocketing? I mean, uh, Bitcoin is uh, dominating the market now. Thank you. Uh, with Atom speaking right now, Atom right now is breaking the falling wedge pattern to the upside. So I'm bullish on this one. No, oh, not Atom, not this one. Uh, oh, Atom. No, we looked at, um, we looked, uh, we looked at, uh, what is it? Uh, Algo, we looked at Algo before. Uh, Atom USDT right now, let me check this one. Uh, to be honest, it does look bullish. It does look bullish, bullish retest before further movement to the upside. Uh, with the price target, 1.272 FIB level is right now at around 29.72 and the next one 33.79. Personally, I would not, I mean, in my opinion, it, it, it's definitely in the uptrend and I would be expecting more movement to the upside on this one. Uh, let's see. Can you please explain how to use FIB retracement, please? Swing high to swing low. And also basics of Fibonacci or uh, not Fibonacci, Elliott waves are also very useful. Uh, hyper, sweet. <laughs> thank you so much, DVD, DevD. Uh, there are uh, there is a premium on the Ethereum perpetual future. It should climb. It's a bullish sign. Nice, nice. Ethereum so far, man, below the resistance level. Exactly below the resistance level. I mean, we are hitting our resistance levels support levels, and also our Fibonacci price targets exactly on this YouTube channel. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel, doing daily live streams tomorrow in the morning, pretty much right now in, let's say, more than, I would say, in 13 hours, we are going to have another live stream, update cryptocurrencies about Bitcoin, Ethereum, and make sure right now you smash the subscribe button, make sure you smash the bell icon. If you want, you can get up to 90 US dollars for free in trading bonus using the link down below in the description. 90 US dollars for free for Bybit exchange. So make sure you actually sign up on Bybit. Uh, M, uh, MTF. Uh, MTF USDT. No, MFT. MFT uh, mainframe. Let me check this one. Uh, oh, it was actually a, a falling wedge. Broke down. Pulled up. So, I mean, this one so far does look good, to be honest. It does look good. Uh, on the hourly time frame, if we maybe look at the, I mean, yeah, so far it does look like we're having a correction. Let me go on the four hourly. Uh, so, uh, with this one, so far correction is to around 0 0.5. So potentially, if you see bullish candlestick patterns being formed on mainframe potential long position on this one, uh, price target would actually be 1.272 Fibonacci level, uh, three cents or 3 point, uh, 3.1 cents or 3.5, uh, 3.1, the first target, 3.5 the next one. The term exactly as predicted can only be believed from Bitcoin Hyper. <laughs> um, okay, so right now, let me actually go through this. Let me right, right now actually go through this. I want to show you this because it's actually very interesting. I want to show you this. Yeah, we know about from. I know that front actually pumped. We know. We already went th uh, through front technical analysis, man. Okay, why Doge is unlikely to ever reach one US dollar? Can I actually make this a little bit bigger? Maybe like this. Bam. Whoa. Uh, first, some quick math. One US dollars per Doge would make it a market cap of one, almost 100, no, 130 billion and the third most valuable crypto. This would require about 42 billion of net buyers to achieve it. This is because of, on average, it takes one US dollars to move the market cap by three US dollars. 
just to put into the perspective if this if the subscribers on this subreddit bought 24,500 uh, 24,500 US dollars worth of doge each and nobody sold a single doge, it would get to 100 US dollar, uh, 1 US dollar. It would then need to maintain billions of net buys to maintain this level. So what reason would people have to maintain these billions of net buys to prop up the price of a meme coin? What reason would someone have to buy the meme, uh, meme from you for 10, 20, 1 US dollar? Don't be fooled by world, uh, by well, it's so cheap, it must be easier, uh, easier for it to go up than other coins. Ask yourself just who would buy and hold above the price you are paying. With billions of freshly mined doge entering every year, even if Elon bought 1 billion doge, the value of the uh, of his doge would continue, continue falling as inflation slowly eats away at it. Stop gambling away your money on it, even if it's only 200 US dollars. Yeah, so. That's the thing right now. Dogecoin, it's a gamble in my opinion. I think I actually said this already in my previous live streams, but Dogecoin, in my opinion, long term, definitely not infinite supply, man. Infinite supply uh, for Dogecoin. Uh, that's right. Now. Oh, actually, I forgot to give you uh, could to give could to give the uh, to to give the credits. Uh, let me actually check right now, real quick. Where is the post coming from? Uh, right here. Let me open this once again. Uh, of course, shout out to uh, I like to say hi. On Reddit, of course, credits go to you who actually wrote this. So thank you so much uh, for actually posting this on Reddit. Right now, let me go through this one. And then we are going to go through this one. Don't check your portfolio the moment you wake up. It's not worth your peace of mind. When you wake up, the probability a significant move which requires your attention is going to take place in the next, uh, the next hour or so is very low. Start your morning routine. Do all the tits and bits you have to. Make some coffee or tea and only then check what happened on the markets the past couple of hours. In any case, you are going to react less emotional than you would have had you checked your portfolio the moment you woke up. Of course, there is always a small chance you should have made a move, move an hour ago, but how many times would you have made bad barely half awake decision? Peace of mind doesn't have a price tag. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Of course, shout out to buy more Bitcoin who, who actually posted this on uh, Reddit. But right now, of course, I know for sure when I wake up, unfortunately, I do not uh, I do not make myself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea before I check the price. Usually when I wake up, uh, I immediately pretty much check the price. And I think that this is right now pretty much the uh, results of this, uh, I would say, poll right here on Twitter. Yes, 94.1% of you who actually voted, of course, if you haven't already voted on Twitter right now, a uh, link is uh, actually pinned in the chat right here on of YouTube uh, comment live section, uh, live chat, I would say. 94.1% 94 of people are saying they are checking immediately when, uh, they, uh, when, uh, when they wake up. So interesting, interesting to see this. Uh, it does look like I'm not alone. It does look like I'm not alone. 1,516 followers. Let's go. Uh, let me actually check the... Yeah, that's pretty much it. This one, let's see. Uh, up to 100,000 and please take the altcoins along. 55,000 tonight? Should I buy Alrond now? Why not? Why not? I mean, if you want, long term... I don't know, long term, definitely not, but... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so right now, let's see. So far, Bitcoin got a rejection. It does, it does look like actually Bitcoin got a rejection at 0 0.618 Fibonacci level. But so far, we are still going. I mean, it does look like we do not have a clear rejection point. So, uh, of course, potentially you could be looking to go with a short position if we are getting a clear rejection. So far, so good. Uh, we definitely do not have a clear rejection just yet. Uh, let me go with the. Actually, let me go like this. Uh. Okay, right now let me go through this one. 100,000 Bitcoin much sooner than you think. Shout out to X, uh, XKestyL007 who posted this on Reddit right here, but let me actually uh, read this. Bitcoin broke, uh, broke above 50,000 US dollars for the first time ever, and then it retraced. Most likely a lot of people had take profits set on 50,000 US dollars mark, but I don't care about that technically. Technically, 50,000 US dollars was a big psychological barrier and we broke it. I think we should be seeing huge upside soon, not only because of 50,000 US dollars, but there are a lot of other bullish news coming into read below. Tesla, micro strategy to raise 600 million more to buy Bitcoin. 
Tanks, uh, banks such as B, uh, BNY Mellon, Marcon, and etc. Uh, entering the crypto space. Other companies to buy Bitcoin soon as well. And the largest event happening soon, stimulus. 1.5 trillion will be injected to biggest economy in the world when everyone is uh, talking only about Bitcoin. Guess what happens to Bitcoin? BTC to 100,000 US dollars very soon. I mean, in my opinion, also is actually going to happen in the next, let's say, a couple of months here on the Bitcoin price. Angie Vidlar, thank you so much for 10 pounds donation. I have just closed my daily trade at 52,600 US dollars. Thank you, Hyper, over 3,000 US dollars in a profit. GG's man, congratulations and thank you so much for your donation. Of course, thank you so much also for watching the live streams here. And I just want to say congratulations on your uh, very nice profit of 3,000 US dollars. Uh, of course, right now, let me actually go to this one. Let me actually show you, uh, let me right now actually show you this. Bitcoin is eating gold. Shout out to Bitcoin Archive who actually posted this on uh, uh, Twitter right here. But I, you need to see this. Investment in Bitcoin versus investment in gold. And of course, this is right now, um, I mean, the picture this, of course, is uh, only showing the bull market for Bitcoin. So, which is unfortunate because we are having um, 2021, 2020, 2029 were bullish cycles for Bitcoin or bullish years for Bitcoin. And because of that, of course, uh, it's only showing bullish cycles. But you can clearly see gold right now, gold itself, uh, it looks like the almost, uh, I mean, from 2020, it's going down. Bitcoin, it's pumping to the upside. So if you look like this, Right now we are, I mean, I talked about this already in previous live streams, but I just want to say, right now we are in digital era. In digital era, of course, people are saying Bitcoin is digital gold. And if gold right now has the highest market cap uh, from all of the assets, that means, of course, Bitcoin is, if you look like this, going to be hashtag number one in the next, let's say, a uh, couple of uh, years, I would say. But so far, so good. Bitcoin is outperforming gold in this, of course, bull cycle. Uh, so I just want to say, what time to be alive right now? Maybe I'm too hyped about this, but yeah, I mean, clearly you can see the data right here. Clearly you can see the charts, you can see the, I would say the uh, price data and yeah. Algo, Algo is pumping, let's see, Algo USDT. Yeah, I mean, exactly as predicted, right? Rising wedge pattern, we're getting broken to the upside, let's see. Why are exactly do you think the pullback after all time high, please? Um, good question. I would say right now. So I think we were talking about this already uh, before. Uh, let me actually remove the Feb levels. Let me go from the low to the top. Uh, let's say to 50,800 US dollars to around 50,268 US dollars. In my opinion, could actually the pull to the downside actually happen? Why? Uh, this is right on the Elliott, uh, the Elliott wave count that I'm actually having on the chart right here. Uh, so, yeah. Something like this. And let's say right now we are getting a pull down. Let's say right now we are getting a pull down, let's say to uh, what I said, I think around... Let me actually measure once again. I want to be very accurate right now. Um, let's say we are getting a pull down, let's say to... Let's say uh, to... No, let's say to 0 0.3 to Fibonacci level. Let's, let's be conservative, I would say. Price target, 54,882 US dollars, if you look like this. If you look at this Elliott wave count that we are having right now. But definitely bullish for Bitcoin and hopefully also for Ethereum. Ethereum, once again, not doing anything. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. With Ethereum, but Bitcoin definitely right now. It does look like we are getting a little bit of a correction to the downside. Um... Hey man, always enjoy listening to you. Can you have a look and give you uh, give me your predictions about Litecoin? Uh, Litecoin, I mean, I can give you the chart right here. Litecoin, so far, it does look like we are breaking the resistance level. Uh, I mean, yeah, if we are right now continuing our way to the upside, our next price target for Litecoin would be 250 US dollars. So right now, if you just joined the live stream, please subscribe to the channel because we are doing daily live streams, daily Bitcoin price prediction, daily Ethereum price prediction, daily altcoin price prediction, daily uh, cryptocurrency live uh, price prediction, daily crypto price prediction. And because of that, 
make sure right now you are subscribed to the channel. Tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning, another live stream. So make sure you have post notifications turned on because you want to get notified when we are going another, uh, when we are doing another cryptocurrency live stream. Bitcoin technical analysis, Ethereum technical analysis, altcoin technical analysis, crypto technical analysis. That's pretty much it. Everything that we are doing on today's, I mean, on pretty much every single live stream. Thank you so much for watching today. Make sure right now you smash the like button. 500 likes, likes right now on the live stream. I think pretty much imminent. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Have an amazing day. Enjoy the music right now. And of course, peace out. When you feel it's hopeless, when you think that you lost, oh, I will take your hand and we'll rise up from the dust. Even if we fall, we will rise up and